All right, start a new game in an existing world. All right, chat. So just for formality's sake, it's time to say hi, YouTube. Because I am splitting the VOD here. So I don't know exactly how to title this because we are reclaiming a fortress. Before I actually reclaim it, um, I'm going to do a test reclaim and see how bad it is. Um, and then we'll reclaim it proper. First, there you go. So yeah, it's going to be a, an interesting thing, seeing how this goes. I will say, holy shit, the calendar takes forever in this map. Operation Lost in Communication, reclaiming a fort in an info hole. Info hole? It's an info hole. <laughs> Um, I expelled them more for story reasons. I don't really expect to see them again, but if you expel them, it removes them from your faction and gives them the ability to join other factions instead of just simply going back to their old faction. But it also more likely means they'll just walk out of the wilderness and starve to death, so. Subtle Scribe, I could unretire it. You know, I should unretire Subtle Scribe for a second and see what it looks like. You guys want to see what Subtle Scribe looks like? I'm just gonna like dip out, but let's let's take a peek at Subtle Scribe. Let's see how bad it is. <laughs> let's see how bad it is. I'm just gonna immediately like exit out after I unretire it. I'm just curious. I have a feeling it's gonna be hell. <clears throat> Well, that's a lot of lag. That's not a good sign. Hunter has been found dead. Uh. You know? I will say I'm impressed. Things look about the same. Aside from like, you know, probably wear creatures everywhere. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, okay, the were creatures are still where they're supposed to be. Hmm. I mean, zombie baby's still here. Geo's still here. Shush. Um... Um, <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> I, er, uh, hmm. Huh. Uh, Geo, did, did you get de demoted? Apparently you did. There's piles of plump helmets everywhere. I mean, okay, so all the barrels being gone, that's normal. You know, all the barrels being gone, that's that's still pretty standard. Uh, at the, you know, honestly, I will say this is way cleaner than I was expecting. Like, aside from barrels being gone and a lot of bins being gone, everything is pretty much where I left it. That's actually kind of impressive. Like, yeah, there's just like a huge stack of clothes, so it'll take a while to clean everything up, but this is actually pretty clean. Yeah. That's actually, like, kind of neat. That's a, that's a good sign, actually, for adventure mode stuff. Because, yeah, it'll be a bit of a pain in the dick to, you know, re replace a lot of this stuff. And I'm sure dwarves are currently just putting shit away. Like, all of this is just... Everybody's just storing items in stockpiles. Everybody's just picking up equipment, storing items. Like, is everybody naked? Is that what's going on? Oh, I see. These are all just merchants. Yeah, because there, there's a bunch of merchants in, in the fort. Actually, how many... <laughs> I wonder what, hmm. I do wonder if the total population is higher than 131 because of all the merchants. 
How long ago did I leave this fort on their own? Uh, five years? Five years. Yeah, everything seems to be pretty much the same, aside from that there's stacks of clothes everywhere, but, like, that, that's fine. Anyway, no, I'm not going to save the game. I'm actually going to do the opposite, because I do not want to keep that fort going, and I only wanted to take a peek at it. I didn't actually want to play it, so. Um, all right, let's, let's jump back to what we were going to do, and just hope that I can actually reclaim that fort. No lava disaster either. Yep. I didn't have any when I left. The merchants um, just arrive naturally behind the scenes. <laughs> Gonna go down to... So you got your DF pint glass in? Sweet. Pretty cool piece. I ended up with two because somebody was very kind and gave me one at PAX. One came from Kit Fox and one came from friend. Which is kind of neat. And is also uh, continuing a perpetual problem of every single cup I own is a pint glass. All right, let's see how um, <clears throat> how big this faction is. Castle of Fellowship, these guys. So they have 1,700 locations. And they are very close to this. This was where I was settled. This is Apple Bottom. So in the early spring of four, 542, the Valley of Columns of the Rack of Lobsters founded Apple Bottom. In the mid-autumn of 548, the Valley of Columns abandoned the settlement of Apple Bottom. So we need to change the goal of this playthrough chat. That's what we need to do. We need to change the goal of this playthrough. Let me just go into here. We, I guess making a last fort would be a bit redundant, but goal. So currently, 548... Tired and abandoned due to war by the original founders. Reclaimed in 548 by... What's our new goal? New Apple Bottom? I wonder if I could call it New Apple Bottom. Eh, we'll, we'll figure out some sort of goal in the future. Now, I'm assuming... Yeah, okay. So it does it does reclaim us as the Castle Fellowship. So Apple Bottom is the name. The Book of Sorcerers is their new name. Hmm. How about the Hmm. How about the Legend The Legend Book? I don't Oh, that's a hyphen compound. Never mind. How about the Legend of The Legend of Apples. And the fortress name can be changed to Newt. Apple Bottom Newt. <laughs> uh first that Apple Bottom the Newt. God damn it. I could probably call it the new Apple hyphen bottom. Let's see. 
Nope. Yeah, it doesn't really work. Young Apple Bottom. I kind of hate it. How about we just call it New Apple? New Bottom. <laughs> I can't call it the something. I can't call it the adjective thing of thing. Front and second compound will be before the the, so the the will always be after. Young bottom. Young bottom sounds way too. Um, I don't really want to get a lot of gay sex jokes in my chat. I'll just be honest with you. <laughs> um, and that's just that's all that that's gonna turn into. Like I'm totally fine with Florida jokes. That that's hysterical. But like let's you know keep that to a minimum. <laughs> I wonder if we could do the return. Is the return a word? No. The beginning, maybe? The, I wish the second was a word. Once again, I can't do two words after a the or an of. I need to use an adjective, so I would have to use a different word. I can't do that, Droven. The tribute? This is a tribute. <laughs> Rebirth probably? A word? Wow. Is that really not a word? The immortal would work. Immortality. But then I would just sound like um, necromancy stuff. Tribute sounds nice. But just makes me think of Jack Black saying, This is a tribute! Or whatever he says in that song. Um, which is fine. I got nothing against that, really. It's just kind of silly. <laughs> we could just call it Big Apple. <laughs> Actually, is big a word? Ambiguity. Yeah, I could call it Big Apple. <laughs> True poetry. Maybe Blueford. Like, Apple Bottom was not silly enough before. You make a valid point. <laughs> big nut. Big nut. Oh, boy. Yep. I could call it the Big Nuts. Mm. I could I could call it the big nut. Could in fact call it that. I don't want to though. I think we'll just go with new apple. Is what I'm going to go with. That's that's what I'm going to go with. For the group name, I called it the Legend of Apples. We'll call this the new... Big... Mm, apple... Of... Caves. Caverns? Caves? Screams? People? No. Dick, what? I don't think orchard. I mean, that's a very not dwarfy word. Orchard. 
A new apple of bile, ambiguity, uh, uh, poison. Uh, that's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, all right. A new apple of greed, insanity, iron, leeches, nesting. Stars, steeds. Flukes, brutalizing. New apple of water. New apple of boots. Sold. Sorry, I have to scramble this up a little bit. Done. The fur boots of the new fur boots of pants is our group name. We happy? Or sticking with the bit? We're sticking with the bit. Speaking of sticking with the bit, um, should I just go? Should we, let's, let's just call it Apple Bottom. Well, let's just let's just stick with it. The second round of dwarves are actually sticking heavier to the bit. Man, I wish I could call it after after Apple Bottom, but man. Bottom Apple to mix it up. But then we might just bottom out with all these jokes. Did Apple Bottom die? We killed it. It didn't die though. Chat can explain what happened. Um I'm not going to worry too much about stuff. We're just going to bring some extra booze. Let's go to animals and see what he has. Got mules, which is a funny thing. Oh. Well, absolutely, I'm going to bring two elephants, just so I don't need to worry about catching another one. One elephant. Two elephant. And, uh, hmm. To a few bad apples. Oh, boy. Man, I should call this fort bad apples. Then we'll just get, like, a bunch of weebs awoken in chat. We'll do two of these. Let's embark with... You're a cook. Every fort, every good fort needs a cook slash herbalist. You can be a gem cutter. And you can and a gem setter. Uh, you can be an armor smith slash weapon smith. You can be a carpenter slash woodcutter um, with some masonry skills. Uh, you can be a record keeper, appraiser. Uh, you can have some comedian stats because I'm funny. And you can have some diagnosing stats because that's actually useful. You heard booze, you've been summoned. Is it really that easy to summon you? Jeez. All right. So, Femme is getting a dwarf. She's getting the first dwarf. Um, just let me know which one you want, Femme, when we get in game. And, uh... So, to catch everybody up, Apple Bottom did not fall. Apple Bottom was abandoned. The reason Apple Bottom was abandoned 
was because I was not trading with the Mountain Home from the year uh, 42, 542, all the way up to 548. Meaning, meaning um, the dwarves who were a part of that fort, um, in, in, in my mind, anyways, uh, were getting a little bit anxious about the fact that uh, they hadn't heard from home, right? And, you know, they weren't actively at war, so I would assume that they would eventually give up trying to build a new fortress and uh, split out and try and head home, which is what I imagine they did. Uh, I sent my one squad off to go attack uh, one of the locations for, but like, all the way back home, and uh, that was at war with them. And then the rest of them I expelled all the way up to the final dwarf, who was um, Creed, who I left there. He adopted the giant hunting bat as a pet, and then we abandoned the fort. Now I'm reclaiming it with the dwarven faction that I was trading with. That's fine. I don't need those 12 points. So now... We have moved to the new fortress. And there is bodies everywhere. Well, that's comforting. <laughs> um, I mean, it does kind of make sense that stuff would be scattered everywhere. I'm just going to do something real quick. Okay. I don't do many things with DF hack, right? But you know what I am going to do? I'm going to set literally every single... Oopsies, actually, tutorials is what I wanted. Um, I'm going to set every single corpse and body part to be dumped. And I'm going to uh, destroy them. Because most of these are in the caverns. And I just don't want to deal with it. Oh, also, I need to undo those. That... that. There you go. Okay. Just. Okay, so now that we've done that, I want to cheat briefly. Okay. That I can live with. So now, bam, what dwarf do you want? Can you get the farmer? <clears throat> you can get the lady farmer. Although I am going to take away her fishing rights. So the faction that we are a part of now is the Castle of Fellowship, which is a pretty small dwarven faction down here that apparently successfully took over a elven forest retreat, is at war with elves, and... Um, is at war with a different Necromancer Tower, but probably will be at war with that one soon, too. Um, and now we get to... get to know a new faction a little bit. They're kind of a small faction, but pretty quaint. Uh, we do have these elephants, which is lovely. A section of cavern has collapsed. Uh, that's not a good sign. Um, probably means that there's stuff overflowing in the basement. Um, so I guess Unretire doesn't actually destroy the fort that much. It's Reclaiming that dest that still destroys stuff and scatters everything. If you can get the Dwarf Redeem in 45 minutes, yes. I'm being very strict about this, Mako. I, I realize that it's not the way we used to do this. This way of giving out dwarves sucks. But I don't like just reading dwarves' names for 45 minutes once an hour. I, it's not really why I play this game. So it takes away my enjoyment to the game. So I'm working towards with my artist to try and have a better solution for naming dwarves. I'm not just going to name dwarves out of chat because if I name dwarves out of chat, then everybody gets a dwarf, right? And then suddenly all of the names are named. I tried, I think I explained this to you like earlier, but it, maybe I didn't. Um, anyway, so I only name dwarves if you can get the channel points redemption, that's it. Um, outside of that, I'm working towards a better solution. Uh, this is going to be Fam. So Farmer Fem, who's chained boot, 
Uh, never envies others, their status, situation, or possessions. Never acts without prolonged deliberation, even to her own detriment and the harm of those around her. She lives a high-energy kinetic pace and is quick to form negative views about things, occasionally overindulges, and could be considered rude. Is stubborn and tends to hang on to grievances, likes to keep things practical without delving too deeply into the abstract, has a calm demeanor and tends to be a little wasteful when working on projects, and is a friendly individual and is not particularly interested in what others think of her. Speaks very deliberately when she's annoyed and points and shakes her finger when she's angry. She needs alcohol to get through the working day and likes working outdoors and only grumbles mildly at bad weather. She dreams of mastering a skill and personally does not really value skills related to fighting. She likes marcasite, black bronze, and bone opal, yak leather, and salmon bone. Bolts and floodgates and spiked balls and blue peafowls for their enormous fantails. And when possible, prefers to consume parry and absolutely hates large roaches. It's once every 45 minutes, Yvonne. One person can redeem one. Uh, her very long hair is tied in a ponytail, and she is skinny. And her splayed-out short ears have great swinging, swinging lobes. All right. Is the trog bomb left behind? Oh, we set it off a long time ago. Yeah, so I'm willing to bet right now that there is lava in the caves. So we're just going to make one of my random dwarves into squad leader, put everybody into the squad. We're going to go exploring. No, it's all good. It's not your fault. It's, it's my fault for building a bad system and then not replacing it with a better system. And then going back to the worst system. <laughs> so, no, it's not your fault. Here comes the dwarfs. A pool of cave spider venom. Excuse me? <laughs> well... Yeah, well, I'm trying to find... I'll, I'm going to make something that's better than channel points. It's just going to take time. You know, actually, I'm going to allow them to equip weapons in this squad. As soon as it's available. And we'll just periodically go over here and say update uniform. Ah. Hmm. Mm hmm Yes. Okay, I'm gonna do a thing real quick. Reveal all. How bad is it? Hmm. Something about the bedrooms just being full of water. That's kind of funny. All right. Well, my fears are mostly true, although it is draining. It is draining. Not too bad. And it could be a lot worse. Like a lot worse. All right, well, let's unreveal. Dwarves are running off to go get axes. Let's wait until Iton runs back. I think three, the bean. What happened here? So when you reclaim a map, not when you unretire a map, but when you reclaim a map, um, everything is kind of a little fucked up usually. Make a dark fire. Thanks for the five pack of gift subs. You didn't need to do that, man, but I appreciate you. Uh, so because things are a little fucked up, it's just a matter of 
adventuring back into that world that we created. So we're just kind of waiting for all this water to drain. There's always going to be some flooding. Things are going to be in places they're not supposed to be. Stuff's going to cave in. But thank you very much for that five packet gift subs. Greatly appreciate that, mate. Um, you know what? I'm going to grab this and do this. We're going to go get their equipment back. Uh, you're all still alive. Uh, as for whether, as of whether or not you'll show up, I'm not sure. None of the named dwarves, um, none of the named dwarves died in the fort, so. Which we were in for six years. Thank you, Mako. Means a lot, dude. Uh, let's also do the Sun Party one. Oh, pfft. I actually need to do that there. Just go straight down. <coughs> My bad. Sorry. Should have hit the mute bu button, but I didn't hit it in time. Oh, yeah. You know, we could also just tell him to go stand here. As we may actually be able to walk into the fort now. Alright, things are starting to cool off a little bit. Are these zones still here? Okay, zones are still here. Here come the elephants. As we slowly re-explore the fort. Go through here and claim everything. Things will dry up slowly. So in my mind, in my head canon anyway, this fortress is being reclaimed by the traders, the trading caravan, who uh, were here to trade last. That's my headcanon. You guys can have whatever headcanon you guys want, but that's mine. So if I can make him go stand right here. Will you guys go open this door? Grand out, maybe? Nope. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Don't fall into the wall. Oh, wow, that drained down a, a, quite a bit. Wait, hold on. What? Uh-oh. That's... Not good. Um, whew. Uh, what a lucky fucking dwarf. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Swimming classes? Certainly. Uh, I think we might need those. Um, so let's just go here and make a meeting zone. Or rather... Alright, so I still have all of these assigned. So let's just... Assign my new elephants and livestock to here. Let's move in. We're back home. I do have to be careful with like water density though. Um, there's a yak. There's two yak skeletons down there. I'm so sorry, Baka. Cow skeleton. Is this actually draining? I don't think so. Um. So, wow, the jobs are still there? That's kind of wild. They're all running out to plant seeds, apparently. Uh, there is no aquifers, no, but there is a lake. Well, there is no... There is... There was no aquifers, and there is no aquifers in this fort, but there is a lake and the lake uh drained into my fort a whole bunch 
which is just what, you know, Dwarf Fortress does, really. Let's dig through that. An ambush. Ugh. Hmm. Hmm. What are you equipped with? Screwed, possibly. Or is the other one? Okay, so it's just the two of them right here. Um, I don't think so. I mean, there's only two of them. I knew on using the using DFAC that there's only two of them. Or over losing is fun. You give up really quickly. <laughs> Like, have a little bit of confidence, mate. <laughs> Just a little bit of confidence. Just because, like, you know, we might lose a dwarf for three doesn't mean that the fort's over. Oh, well, see. Oh, I see. You said merman, not ant man. <laughs> We have no combat skills, but let's see how this goes. Eh, they're only novice. I am the Jesus of Dwarf Fortress. I don't have a beard. What are you talking about? Okay, so Iton jumps in to kill the ant, ant man. Gets hit in the neck. <laughs> By a flying bronze blow dart. It was poisoned with anything? It's coated with thin... It's... Oh, okay. Yeah, never mind. Fort over. We're all fucked. So, I have two options. I can, uh, I can, uh, I can exterminate them, or this entire expedition is... It's up to you guys. You go have a good night. It's all stars. Wow, they died really quickly. Iton uh, did get a lot of major injuries in the fighting, though. In the one v one duel against all of the uh, against the single Ant Man that they found in the basement, it's truly horrific. Truly, truly horrific. But it's a good thing that, you know, our expedition leader was able to take out the army of Ant-Men. I mean, individual Ant-Men. <laughs> uh, fortunately, we do have a proficient diagnoser. And a hospital zone already set. Right here. Okay. Got Zahn coming here to recover wounded. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside. And I'm just going to make a big ass um, stockpile. A refuse. Because we need to get a lot of stuff that's going to be spewing out Miasma out of the fort. Going to get nice mod out moss? Well, I mean, these stoned areas, stone areas are all just going to be turned into paved floors eventually, but... In theory, it could go that way, yeah. Your beds look a little waterlogged. They're not all waterlogged. Just a lot of them are. <laughs> Just a lot of them are. There you go. 
gonna go recover wounded now. Wait. Are you... recovering this dwarf? What did you do to get injured? Okay. That's a little strange. Apparently nothing from what I can tell. There you go, go diagnose patient. And go dress the wound. Fortunately, we have tons of supplies. Tons of cloth and things. This upper area is all drying up, which is nice. Four Violet, years what's up? Four more. 48 months. 48 months in a subscription, 48 hours in two days, coincidence, I think likely, but thank you, seriously. Our expedition leader is up after experiencing some horrific trauma. Grabbing a copper pick and is heading back to work. I applaud their um, strength and mental fortitude. Okay, so I need to get rid of this water real bed. So let's go. Oh boy. Um Also, this is this, you know, this stairwell might become a really useful little well <laughs> for a little bit. Um how am I going to do this? Because this is all constructed in, right? I guess what I'm going to do Okay, so I'm just going to erase this lower level Go up to here, get rid of that Maybe not straight from there Maybe let's go one layer higher up There we go. Let's connect that. I know it'll take a little bit, but we'll get to it. Someone's already pissed <laughs> conducting meeting. Well, this is off to a good start. Um, just gonna go attend a meeting. I mean, hey, if you need to, do what you need to do. I'm gonna move my expedition leader off of mining and give it to the jeweler because I do actually need miners and I, I need people who are willing to mine and you don't seem willing to mine. So go, go grab a pickaxe. On the bright side, there are plenty of beds here that are not, you know, completely waterlogged. Um, I'm also going to go back here, and we are going to put a fortification into this. Actually, maybe not right there, because that's probably going to lead to you uh, getting spelled out the back, which would be bad. So let's do, let's do mm, right there. And let's hope that you don't get pushed backwards into that water down below, and if you do, well then, bonus. There you go, that is now a beachfront window property. Let's assign some dwarves to beds. That are not, you know, currently full of water. And if they are, well then, eh, we'll do this. We'll do our damnedest to drain them. Can we spot vampires through a fortification? Yes. There is a cave fish in that bedroom. <laughs> we can fish in your bedrooms. I see this as a benefit, not not a negative. All right, let's um, actually hold on. Pause, 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 pause. I need you to go mine. Thank you. New breached has a fifty-three unit deep hole. Good lord. 
That's pretty awesome. Unwaterlogging this is going to be interesting. Sup, Starlock? All right, well, thank you, Kershma. It's a bit wet right now, but hopefully it'll be a nice fort when, when we're done with it. I really hope that some of those dwarves from that original crew migrate in. Random shower thought. Has anyone ever used this opportunity to make an aquarium? What, like reclaiming a fort? I don't reclaim forts that often. Like, I think I can count on like two hands the number of time, number of forts I've actually reclaimed. Curious as to what's going on in this area, if anything. So somebody became the High Silvers of the Mountainous Fellowship, replacing Edom. Maybe we can learn about our faction. Well, our king is a miller. Our countess uh, is named Cog. Our count is named Aiden. The general's named Bim. That's about it. Nothing, no crazy species or races that I'm seeing. No, no Gorlax or Unicorn ranchers, from the looks of things. So you won't have to purchase another? Yeah, there you go. You want to admire art? Oh, that's exciting. Let's take a peek at the, the Bright Crown. Oh, that's one I don't recognize. Sorry, the, the new fur boots of pants is not, is gonna get, is not gonna get old for a while. <laughs> I'm going to be commenting on that for a bit because it's just way too funny. Bim! Yes. Is, in fact, the guy in charge's name. I think I'm just going to fortify this. This will all drain out down into here. This is where water was previously. Well, this does actually seem to be, like, aside from all of the water right here, largely going back to normal. So something I'm thinking about is currently I don't have a way out of here. No, I don't. So I... Wait, actually, no, we do. We, we can get through here because I dug out that. I'm going to get the dwarves to dig up right here. And then over across here. And I'm going to go down into here. And I'm going to channel down into this. We are going to drain the water into the cavern layer below. Because I know it's there. And I can do it. And it'll be pretty easy. So we're about to discover another cavern layer. Well, I already knew it was there, but um, we've now discovered another cavern there. Too Tall Dad Gaming. Thank you very much for the sixth month. Welcome back. Do I have greats? Hmm. You know, how about actually we do this? Let's chop these down. Just go... Eh, maybe don't do that, because that's actually going to put holes. But I do kind of want to put grates in there. Let's go here and just go grates. It's going to make a few of those. You're digging channels. We'll follow you. We'll get the first half of the tavern cleaning out this way. Uh, as long as the bedroom is big enough that you can fit a bed, a cabinet, and a chest, and a door, it's probably good in regards to recommended sizes for be for bedrooms.
But at the end of the day, you can make them as big or as small as you like. Yes, that is very much the truth. Okay, at the very least, all of the dwarves have bedrooms. That is maybe the best part about this whole situation. I mean, you, you don't even really need to start off with bedrooms. If anything, starting off with bedrooms is kind of spoiling your dwarves, depending on who you ask. Not sure where all of this water is going, to be honest, but... Okay, so you're going to do that now. So this all has water, obviously. So I'm going to smooth and fortify at the bottom here so that it can get out there, and we're going to use this to drain the tavern. Shenanigans intentional. Ah, uh, well, inevitable, I guess, is maybe the better way of putting it. But yes is the simple answer. Let's just put picks on everybody who will grab one. Um, we've reclaimed this fort as a different faction. Which means everything is technically intentional, although suboptimal for sure. But yes, we have in fact reclaimed this fortress. And we reclaimed it with a different faction because, well, I, shit was not great. There's a lava cube right there that I didn't notice before. We were not getting migrant waves, and I assume that that is because of the state that the home faction was in. So um, I have claimed it uh, on behalf of the other faction in the vicinity, who we were, had been trading with. Um, what? What's up? Same. Make a room with the coffin bread and it'll literally go from cradle to grave. Yeah, that's very inconvenient though because then things are all, like, messy. <laughs> Chat, they found the edge of the tavern. <laughs> Just gonna unassign this. Guys, I realize you guys want to socialize, but, like, this, this, this is, this is not optimal right now. Okay. Guys, come on. Come on. Let's, let's quit goofing off. We have a tavern to drain of water first. Instead, you found adamantine. Sounds like you're doing well. Must uh, you might you might as well just dig all that up because that stuff's very valuable. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Sounds like great fun. Wait for these to get removed. Why are you standing there, Dorf? Didn't seem wise. <laughs> um. Well, I wasn't wrong. Erm. Iton's just like, man, it's a shitty day, man. Uh, okay. Sweet. So that's it's it's shallow enough that you are no longer. Oh. <laughs> well, on the bright side, we have the dining hall now. <laughs> um, how you doing down here? Uh, can I? Erm. Uh, Dodok, where are you at? You, you close by, Dodok? I I, I need your job. Um, the person that you want to attend the meeting with is underwater right now, so you're not going to be able to attend that meeting, dude. Uh, and you are just dr well, you drowned. How about you? Eh, eh, come on. Ah. Well, might as well just erase this. Um, who's the new expedition leader? Who's in charge now? Uh, well, I guess they haven't figured that out yet because they haven't noticed. Um, well, hmm. the good news is. Assuming it's not completely underwater, which it probably is. Uh, it is. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, that's fine. Assuming it's not completely under lava or water, I did make a bunch of coffins. Uh, Stinthad is now the new expedition leader. This is fine. Hmm. Hey, my hotkeys still work. That's cool. Um... So this is where my um, where my forges were. What are the odds that it's like under lava right now? I say pretty good. <laughs> um, all right. Well, let's get through this now then. Well, at least we found the body. Were they magma safe? They were made of glass, but I'm not going to get to them if they were there. Well, at the very least, we'll have uh, access to the to the to the to the to the tavern soon. <laughs> you know, in my head cannon now, I'm, I realize this this fortress has a lot of head, heads and mostly cannons, but in my current head cannon. This fortress, before Creed left, who was the old expedition leader, Creed must have scuttled the fort. Or are you just going to make obsidian forges? Why does it matter what material I make the forges out of? I mean, it's just I had I had coffins made of glass down there, but they're underwater, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what material I make the forges out of either. Okay, one of these dwarves is real pissed. Woodcutter? Mm. Because <laughs> was like trying to attend a meeting with the person in charge and then found them dead. I, you know, I would also be pretty upset. And now they're in the water. Great. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Can we stop for a moment and not care? Dwarven glass is not completely see-through. This is a known fact. It's also normal in Catholic, for Catholics, so don't worry about it. It's fine. Snow White is also absurdly creepy, but also very dwarfy. Because, you know, seven dwarves. No, White also wasn't dead, though. <laughs> we still haven't found the guy in charge. That's, that's kind of funny. We'll find him eventually. All right, well, now that we're doing all that, let's see, can I place some more of these? Uh, any dwarf you want. Um, well, you got five. Pick one. <laughs> or four to choose from. Pick one. Farmer's taken. Rex Dium Glatatorius. You know, it's it's really funny that you guys are talking about the ramifications of coffins and everything, but in the same sentence they're talking about are arguing why coffins should be usable as beds. I think you guys are the fucked up ones. That's all. To me, being buried in a coffin, period, is fucked up because it takes up land for no reason. <laughs> so, I don't know. Being buried in a coffin in and of itself is weird as far as I'm concerned. The metalsmith. Okay. Zon! Rex over here ate a meal and is contented. 
is incredibly brave in the face of looming danger, perhaps a bit foolhardedly, is, is uh, swayed by emotional appeals and is not a private person, freely shares details of his life and doesn't, uh, and doesn't feel envious of others, tries uh, to do things correctly each time, uh, is rarely happy or enthusiastic, is conflicted by this as he values parties and merrymaking in the abstract, often feels lustful and tends to be passive in discussions. Is some sometimes acts with a little determination and confidence and can handle stress, needs alcohol to get through the working day and likes working outdoors and only grumbles mildly at bad weather. Dreams of creating a great work of art and does not particularly value the truth. He likes granite, iron, and green diamond, quivers and crowns and llamas for their long necks. The words of the lit itch of waste and the sound of the satiny embraces and, and prefers to consume gazelle, thornback, and ray, and rambuchin wine, and alpaca's milk, oat flour, and absolutely hates leeches. He is very skinny and has a long beard, a long mustache, which is arranged in double braids, and very short hair, which is neatly combed. Uh, he has no family, and uh, two of his best friends are dead. Um, and is loading a cage trap, apparently. Um, probably needs new pants soon. And uh, I've got a dwarf here that really wants to attend a meeting. So I'm going to make this office the expedition leaders. This bed. Um, where's Stintad's bed? There it is. Move you over here. Just so that you can have meetings there if possible. And I need to figure out where I'm going to put some bodies. What are you doing? Butchering an animal. What are you butchering? Crundle neck? I have some questions, but okay. How about we pause that? <laughs> Don't worry about it so much. There's higher priority things that need doing, such as um, putting seeds right here. Although by seeds, I actually mean plump helmets, cave wheat, dimple cups, if you insist, and... Um, Blanking on the other ones. Pigtails. So cave wheat, pigtails, plump helmets, dimple, sweet pods, that's it. That's what I'm forgetting. Uh, go here, no barrels, just bags. And they'll get to that nice and quick. There's going to be fortifications everywhere in this fort eventually, and people are going to be like, why is there fortifications everywhere in this fort? And I'll be like, well, <laughs> fancy you asking that. Um, this was where I had the elephants originally. There's a bunch. Why is there a bunch of Wolverine people in cages? What? <laughs> and also a shit ton of baby turkeys. I didn't bring those. Okay. The water? Yeah, and it ain't going anywhere anytime soon. You know, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little trench here. And then this is going to run all the way to there. I'm just going to drain this. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to drain it. Also have so very few dwarves. Free turkeys, I suppose. Free turkey, best turkey. You know, actually, I know where I'm going to put the, the coffins. Because I got this. I feel like this would be a good place for coffins, you know? At least for those initial two deaths. Just like, right up here at the entrance of the fort. Underneath these tiny pillars. Be a good spot for coffins. So you missed the reclaim? Well, everything has gone mostly okay. Mostly okay. Mostly okay. Keyword there is mostly okay. 
One of the dwarves is real pissed. We did have uh, two deaths. Definitely all accidental. And not intended. I assure you. But it happened, so it is what it is. We're working through it. Speaking of working through it. This is another area I need to dig through. But first I would like to finish filling these in. Oh, well. I guess we ran out of floor grates. Oh my god, there's so much obsidian down here. You know what? I'm not I'm just not gonna worry about it. Let's dig through this. Cancel that. Gonna go get a drink. I would too, probably, after having to live in this fort for more than 10 seconds. And I'm in an ad break, but I will let them finish digging this, because it's just a lot of shit that needs to be put away. It's all water under the bridge. Water under the fort, or water under the tavern, more like. Wondering if you can butcher an archangel. Aren't they intelligent? I don't know. I've never tried. Um, check if they're intelligent on the wiki. If they're not intelligent on the wiki, then yes, you can butcher them. <laughs> Kia, giant Kias are stealing aluminum goblets. I mean, checks out. There's also giant flies on the map now. Here goes another round of whoosh. So this down here is the cavern layer that's full of obsidian. And we are um, dealing with some of that obsidian or dealing with some of that lava rather, not obsidian. It's about to be full of obsidian. It's currently full of lava. We are dumping a whole bunch of water into here, out of my fortress and into here. And hopefully we'll actually stop the spread of it. You know, let's not talk about old game-breaking bugs that are just extremely awkward. Tapioc, because yes, that was a few versions ago. More than a few. If you really, 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 really want to completely break the ethics of dwarves, just mod your game. But yeah, no, that was removed from the game quite some time ago. Old exploits are not really a topic I feel need to be discussed. All right. Well, at least we've blocked off the spread of this lava. So re-entering this area is a little bit more viable. At least we had a use for the water. Anyway, chat room, can I get a round of beers so I don't have to stare at the uncomfortable subject no more? Please and thank you. And remember, because it's getting later in the day, you guys have one job. Help me, help me keep the chat moving. Because we have been live now for nine hours and 40 minutes. Right around now is around when people start going to bed. It's that time of day. Let's just keep that chat active so that everybody stays interested. Because boy howdy, I'd like to keep this fort alive now. <laughs> I think like kind of the main goal here is just to keep the fort functional and get all this water out of, excuse me, and get all this water out of here. 
until it's time for um, the first migrant wave, which will probably be either this week or fall. One of the two. Sweet pod bag of seeds. You don't trust yourself to not be a jerk, moron? Ah, you're fine. You're fine. I'm sure we've all needed alcohol to get through the working day one day. Of, one Once in a while. Fortunately, I do still have a bunch of blocks left. All right, let's check down here. So this goes all the way up to here, which should be the edge of the map, which it is. We're going to uh, smooth and fortify these. Oy, it is a big mess to clean this, yes, but at least we'll actually get dwarves, which means, you know, things will be possible. It'll be possible to survive going forward. Let's just move all these to leave follow. Let's also just leave these follow for right now. I just need to get stuff moved in here. I don't actually need to plant things. I just need to get stuff moved. There we go. Go smooth wall. As I mean, we do have a shit ton of turkeys, apparently, which is lovely. Yeah, honestly, cleaning up massive fort messes like this is kind of a rewarding thing to me. It's a fun activity that you don't normally get to do. And I don't mean that, like, ironically. Like, it's fun in the losing is fun kind of way. I mean that in a, a genuine way. I mean, how often... Once, once you get good at Dwarf Fortress, it's not very often that you end up with, like, a massive, partially flooded fort. Like, that doesn't really happen once you've kind of gotten past the skill level of, like, how to avoid water and stuff. So, for me, it's kind of like this weird sort of fun startup scenario of, like, well, can I save it? Can I keep it going? Kind of thing. You know what I mean? And I think that's actually quite an entertaining prospect. Let's uh, just get some basalt in here. Oh. Not the autumn, not the option I wanted here. Actually, I probably could just smooth these. Didn't smoothing it remove mud? I think it does. So freaking bad at managing stockpile zones? Eh, it's something you get better at. It's like anything else. It takes time. Why is there a crundle in here? What the fuck? Where did you cr come from, crundle man? I too would be overcome by terror if I was in here. In fact, I'm overcome by terror right now. Cleaned an elven uh, that was supposed to crush the corpses. Oh, wait. So what did it actually do then? Did you not set it to raise and lower? Did you set it to like extend and re retract or something? I'm trying to figure out how you managed that. Have you ever, like, tried to use a bridge to crush corpses and then you accidentally just fling them all over the map? Like, is that what you did? Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Cro Cotton Eye Crundle? Is that what this is? I guess the secret is if you're going to abandon a fort, rip all the doors off the hinges so that everything drains, right? Feed the cat? Gotcha. You've been losing a lot of arguments, pet channel Discord. What? King Neokai seems to be having fun. What are you uh, losing arguments in what? All right. Well, we'll do that. Now I'm probably going to drown a crundle. Oh, never mind. You, oh, I see. He keeps popping out and seeing my elephants and running back inside afraid. I would too, once again. How you doing, Semtexagon? Sorry, but this crundle just popping out and screaming and running back down into the hole is very funny to me. Cat tends to bite your ankles. You should try not flavoring your ankles. Finished a silly attachment for your airsoft rifle. What's a si what what defines a silly attachment for an airsoft rifle?
This this poor Grundle, man. About to learn to swim. Against his will. Oh. Also, this isn't even going to drain. Well, that's wonderful. I'm going to need to also then go over to this side and drain this side. Because I kind of screwed this up. Hmm. Okay, well... Let's do it this way. I love how most of these words are just storing stuff in stockpile. The real challenge of this fort is going to be, can these dwarves make it through without going completely insane? Because this is a horrific task that they've been asked to complete. That much is certain. Absolutely horrific task they've been asked to complete. They also haven't even, like, constructed the coffins yet. Well, good news is Tavern is almost usable again. Almost. You know, let's not cancel this removal. Let's keep these here. At least we got tons of trading materials already. This whole area is draining down into here pretty quick. I don't know why there's yaks down here. It's a funny storyline. Well, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. This is kind of anxiety inducing for me, but like, I mean, you know, that's okay. I'll get by. Oh my God. <laughs> well, it appears that this lower cavern layer doesn't care about um, my obsidian wall. Uh, it's just going to keep bubbling. Very... Hmm. You know what would be genuinely terrifying? Is if it if, if this, like, cavern volcano suddenly just decided, I'm actually a, like, like, sea level volcano now. I'm going to just keep bubbling up. Because there's a very real possibility. It just kind of gurgles up out of this hole. So we need to keep an eye on that. Shame we don't have waterfalls? Wait, what? How's this? How's that? A sh How do I not have waterfalls right now? What What do you think all of this is? What is this? Rather, what was this? Not really a waterfall anymore, but it was. Saying shame we don't have waterfalls. Mate, there's waterfalls freaking everywhere. I got enough water that, you know, you won't even know it when it falls. Okay, well, you're just attending a meeting, which is sad. I'm going to deconstruct the wagon. We can just stop going up there for literally everything. What are you butchering? What is it with all these crundle legs getting butchered? What are you even getting out of that? Crundle scale. Just, just, just stop this job. This job is cursed. <laughs> I don't need to... Be, hear you singing in the scale of Crundle. Ugh. You mean misting waterfalls? We don't need it. I mean, only one dwarf is kind of pissed, and that's fine. Forts don't need misting waterfalls, mate. You know, it's actually kind of funny. I've been, like, dedicating the, a number of forts now to just keeping dwarves happy without actually using um, 
miss generators for any reason because they are 100% not necessarily necessary and I'm trying to prove that to people because I made the biggest one of the biggest mistakes I made uh, was making a miss generator tutorial because it suddenly convinced a large portion of the Dwarf Fortress player base that you need miss generators to play this game which you don't um, like does it make the game easy mode absolutely but you do not need it miss generators are a trap to bad habits if anything So, I do maintain, though, that that was one of my biggest mistakes, was helping people to, uh, or teaching people to use mist generators too early. Like, they're absolutely a, a fun thing that you, a fun tool that you can use in this game, but use them sparingly. It's nice to have mist gen later game. I mean, if you've already got a super happy fort, yeah. I don't. I try to not use them as a crutch in the early game, basically. <laughs> Stupid fucking crundle, man. It's so goddamn goofy. Okay. I mean, there's no denying that they are good, for whatever it's worth. There's no denying that mist generators are very effective. They are. There we go. Do that. And this. Tim! <laughs> Look, Rundle thought he had a chance. We can begin draining that and eventually get the expedition leader's body out of there. Okay. All of this is slowly draining. And I can put all my turkeys down here. Because this is where... Whoop, nope, not the wolverine man. But I can put all the turkeys down here because that is where my turkey box or my egg laying box is. Build the water source. Pretty sure that smoothing stone floors makes mud go away. Let's try that. For some of these areas. Not all of them, just some of them. So it's and you so uh Hard to limit yourself. So if it's easy to come by, why is it hard to limit yourself? You find it too easy, don't don't use the system, right? I wonder actually. At least you're satisfied at work. Yes, okay, so smoothing floors gets rid of mud. That's step one. Unless there's moss already growing there. <sighs> you didn't know that smoothing would do that? Yep. There's a bat there. What is it? Is that just a cave bat? No, it's just a bat. Just a perfectly normal bat. Normal basic bat. That is a lot of mud. Man, you know, I'm probably going to deconstruct everything out here. Build floors over all of this. And then rebuild. Because, like, I, I really don't like the way this looks. <laughs> Like, I just, I, I do not. Oh, there's already floors underneath that. Nope. Nope, that's cheating. Leftover pat. You should know me well enough by now to know that. 
This is the bullshit I got myself into. This is the bullshit I'm going to get myself out of. One dwarf's sadness at a time. One streamer's insanity at a time. DF hack is coping mix, not a solution. Yeah, I just need like another 40 dwarves to help. Although we have a bunch of already cut gems, which I can sell from the previous fort. So when we get more migrants, we can absolutely recover a lot of this. We also even already have mugs. It's great. Cleaning this is going to be way less issue, way less effort than rebuilding the whole thing from the ground up as well. So pretty sure that smoothing these will get rid of this too. Yep. Okay. So smooth combination of smoothing, constructing, and deconstructing, and building. We'll get everything cleaned up. I love that there's dead birds in cave spider webs. I mean, I did some exterminations, but nah. The head cannon for me is that the the previous fort owners scuttled parts of good chunks of the fort. It's the most believable thing for me. This is going to be a little tricky. It's doing that without drowning. It's like I'm getting a humongous advantage, right? Child cleaner dwarves? Uh, yeah, but you kids can't, like, you can't clean up mud, so. And cleaner dwarves is a wee bit redundant at that point. Okay, so this down here, I think I will engrave, un oops, no, engrave underneath all of the chairs. And then the rest is going to get deconstructed. And reconstructed. And I think I will probably just engrave up here. Engrave under this. Engrave under this. And just engrave this. Engrave that. I have some pretty skilled floor engravers soon. Here's hoping they like the job. I mean, for me, as long as I like the look of the thing, I don't actually care so much. It's a matter of me enjoying looking at it. As long as I like looking at the, th the place that my, f my dwarves live in, it doesn't really matter what it looks like. As long as I like looking at it. Apparently, I don't like looking at it, so I have to solve this problem. A trick I discovered recently for dealing with mud is where you don't want it is adding uh, curv carved rails. Yeah, I mean, that's that's going to be about the equivalent of, like, smoothing. Might be quicker, but... Basically, you build a thing on top of it and then unbuild it and then rebuild it is how you deal with it. The problem is, is all of these jobs are going to take a very long time. That's the actual issue. I think these ones are less important. This is just going to get floors put on top of it anyway. I would say those would be largely similar uh, as, as uh, to um, or comparable to smoothing or engraving. The nice thing about rails is though, it, although you can't put rails on top of floors, so that, that wouldn't be a solution for floors. I'm a little bit concerned about where it's claiming that there's water right there. Is there water behind that? Oh, maybe... Oh, no, it's just the stuff on the floor, right? I was going to say, that is slightly concerning. Why is there water behind that wall? 
Fortunately, it's not behind that wall. It's, it's all good. We don't, no need to freak out yet. As long as water's in places I expect it, we're okay. <laughs> it's fine. Rapid drowning sounds. Yeah, gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Snorkel. Blah. Okay. Um, let's also deconstruct this and go into here. Get that body out of there. It's probably actually just a low enough priority job that they just haven't done it yet. Hey, only one of the dwarves is pissed. This is fine. The question is, who should we actually be worried about? This dwarf or the rest of them? I think it's this dwarf. He's this dwarf satisfied, satisfied after felling trees. Like, they're not super pissed about their existence. They're not even stressed. They're, they're just, like, angry right now. It's not, like, permanent stress. But now we need to spend the next few streams, I suppose, just, like, getting to know this faction a bit. That's going to be the next project, basically, is getting to know this faction, because this is now another new faction. We've rapid-fired between two new factions. The kind of interesting thing about the about the last faction, though, is that the last faction was actually very similar to the one we played before, previously. This is going to have mud on it. I'm going to have to remove it. We're going to have to destroy an engraving. Oh, the humanity. Or, oh, oh, the dwarf sis. Dwarf, dwarfanity? Dwarfanity. Yes, that. But anyway, um, we're going to have to get to know this faction. It's going to be fun. More stuff to do. Because honestly, learning about factions from within is some of the most fun you'll have. We struck Almondine. Speaking of, actually. Uh. You know, this is making me nervous. Just this. This is making me nervous. If it starts bubbling up here, we know that we're in trouble. Hasn't quite reached the end of everything just yet. Um, although it's probably gonna, yeah, it literally is spilling out of here. Yeah, this whole cavern layer is screwed. <laughs> That's hot. Yep. Yep, it is. Hmm. Fortunately, we do have a water source over here. So the possibility of us being able to do or defend something. Maybe there. I do still ab absolutely adore the uh, bedrooms with the <laughs> just 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 bedrooms that are completely, absolutely and utterly packed with uh, cobwebs. Will probably be my favorite aesthetic choice in this fort for a while. It's just so amusing to me. Oh no, it doesn't have mud. Okay. go getting rid of those sweet knocking this out can i just make you mine these out please we really need to just get this body out of here we really do somebody needs to get rid of that body can we could please do that dwarfs make it snappy there's literally a corpse sitting there <laughs> Let them kids sit, could finish like constructing all this stuff up here so that this area starts to look a little bit more presentable. Goes forgotten Weber uh, goes out of his way to ensure that all the doors are tucked in warm. Well, I mean, here's the thing, right? They're just cave spiders. Cave spiders are fine. Just don't let them bite you. If they bite you, that I think I'm pretty sure that still gives you a permanent syndrome, which isn't exactly optimal, but it's not the worst thing that could happen. All 
All right, that just spills out pretty quick. Goes down into here. It's not like it's gonna kill them. It's a little awkward. Okay, we got that done. Let's just construct a new basalt floor piece right there. Deconstructing, oh wow. Trading Depot doesn't have a chat room. Today I learned uh, trading depots are completely waterproof because there is no water under the training depot. That's kind of crazy, actually. I don't know why that's like weird to me, but that's really weird to me. <laughs> trading depots, waterproof. Because there's no mud underneath it. It's a completely sealing uh, building. Hermetically sealed to the sand <laughs> underneath it. Yes. Um, I will pause game for a second because um, there's an ad running. Very funny, though. Hey, chat room, do me a favor. Press 1 if you are not seeing an ad right now. This only goes for Twitch. I'm mostly looking for people who aren't subbed. I'm just curious as to how many of the active chatters are actually seeing an ad. I'm just gonna unpause the game. <laughs> Fucking whatever. One, because you can pop out the mini video? Wait, if you pop out the mini video, does does the ad go away and sound come back? Because if so, that's maniacal and I love it. Oh, ad doesn't, but do you get sound though? Um, well, there's a ghost in the fort. <laughs> yep. This is fine. Oh, yeah, I know that when you're subscribed, you're not, you don't see ads, but the bean's not subscribed, so. Pop out, unmute me, mute ad. Interesting. I personally, I don't care if you guys find workarounds for the ads. The ads don't pay me that much, so <laughs> does it's like kind of a, a no sweat type deal. Doesn't particularly bother me. Okay, you are constructing a building, placing a coffin. That's a good thing. Get rid of the bodies. Happy up the dwarves a little bit. Since August last year, can I ask what region you're in? Like what part of the world? EU? Yep, okay, but like, okay. You don't need to specify more than that if you don't want. But um, it's one of those like, some countries just like, I know some people in Australia who've literally never seen an ad on Twitch ever in their entire time being on Twitch. They've never seen an ad. Some regions just don't get ads, which honestly, jelly. <laughs> Sucks being in Canada, man. Subs just got more expensive. Howdy blind in chat. Happy 15 months. All right, True Freak. Thank you very much for the 15th month. Welcome back. Appreciate you greatly. Thank you very much for that Prime subscription. That's probably the ghost going away, which it is. You're not one of those who never gets ads. I, I think it's specific regions in Australia. YouTube is totally crazy with ads. Yeah, I bought YouTube premium a long time ago. 
Like a very long time ago. Yeah, I agree. Your fortress music is fantastic. Two pads are super easy to kill. That that is true. Definitely one of the easiest to ignore ads. Which oddly enough, as somebody who makes money on YouTube, it's part of the reason I just kind of accept that YouTube money is always going to be shit forever. Except for honestly the days where um the YouTube chat decides to gift a bunch of memberships, then it gets pretty okay. But It's kind of funny how YouTube how YouTube and Google have like simultaneously both completely dominated the ad market and also completely demolished the value of the ad market at the same time. It's like <laughs> back in the day you used to be able to charge thousands of dollars for a banner ad on a website that got tens of thousands of clicks and now it's like well, that ain't worth sh 10,000 views. Pfft. 4 bucks. Best I can do is 350. Quite literally. Slight exaggeration, but it's not far off. You're not at the moment subscribe to me to my to YouTube for uh, for a moment as you need to figure out some things. What like subscribe to YouTube Premium or just subscribe to my channel on YouTube? What are you trying to figure out out of curiosity? Where the heck are you putting these? Oh, you're probably Let's um just jump up here. Get rid of this. It's just way too far of a distance to haul anything right now. As we rebuild the tavern. You not really see why you need to see the same the same ad a hundred times a day. No, I agree about that. It's it's kind of it kind of sucks. Quick question for Door Fortress because I kind of fucked up your default worlds now. How do you reset them? Um, so I've been told by people if you just delete the worlds folder, like I'm okay. So I'm assuming you you are talking about like advanced world gen settings, yeah? Um, <clears throat> Door Fortress, the most common typo for Dwarf Fortress, um, because that's what auto correct auto corrects it to. Tapio, I'm, I've even I've done that before. Um, in fact, one of my highest search terms uh, in YouTube tags is Door Fortress, oddly enough. Um, but uh, let me grab you the page of the wiki. This page of the wiki. Right here. Oopsies. Gives you the defaults. Um, it tells you where to find them on the wiki page, and then... You just go here, and you just say sh select all or show all. These are the defaults. You copy-paste these, and you put them in the folder for the instructions at the top. It's pretty simple. Um, you have to go to your Dwarf Fortress directory, prefs, and there's a file called um, worldgen.txt. Open that up. Copy-paste this into that. Done. That's how you get your defaults back. Apparently, if you just delete worldgen.txt, the game just makes a new one with the defaults in it again, but... I've had mixed results with that. Yeah, no, it, it is, it's not inaccurate. Many forts have doors, but not all doors have forts. Yeah, you can also just make a new TXT file as well. I'm not entirely sure why that coffin ended up there, but. It's a glorified shelter. I mean, at least it's not a tomb. Well, I guess it is for Thulon, but it's not for the most of the dwarves. 
designer? Wait, what do you mean? What, 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 what do you mean, Tapioc? Get all this flooring done. And it leads to Rick Roll, I would die. <laughs> I mean, I already have Rick Roll on vinyl. I don't need to listen to it on YouTube. Hey! It's raining on me. It's annoying. It's okay. That's the least of your problems. You live here now. Welcome, Deller. Word oiled. Member of the religion known as the Tin Code of Coven. Worships a deal. Many people do. You're also the member of the Creed of Cobalt, also worships a deal. Redeemed, Zemtexagon, what kind of dwarf do you want, Tith? I beg your what now? Angry? Where, where, where'd that come from? Um, Cactus Channel, the best kind of channel. Okay, how many dwarves we have to now? 13. Hell yeah. Uh, what dwarf want you? Sam. Anything related to metalworking? The one thing related to metalworking is taken. What other dwarf want you? There's not that many on the list, so just pick one. <laughs> Covin is not the same as the word COVID. People are like word deaf to the word coven and coven. Or cove anything. <laughs> Cover. Corvée. That's not a word. Corvette. There you go. Gem setter. Do you want the expedition leader Stinthad or Iden? Corvid. Yeah, that Corvid's just a dead word. Coveted. Yes. Great band Covet, by the way. Want Iden? I, I dat dwarf den. Um, Sam, Tex, uh, gone. He's not readily moved by art or natural beauty and is conflicted by this as he values artwork and its creation. He is swayed by emotional appeals, has a sense of duty, is somewhat uncomfortable around those that, live, that appear and usually live differently from himself, and decided to run into the tavern and tell a story. The story he is telling is clearly a very important one, otherwise he wouldn't be telling it. It's the story of how in the year 548, uh, Iton became the militia commander. So wait, that dwarf died in the flood. And your response is to show up and be like, so this dwarf died. Anyway, uh, he dreams of mastering skill and personally finds those that develop skills with weapons and fighting distasteful. Uh, does not particularly care about craft dwarfship. And uh, likes sylvite, pig iron, sapphire, and ginkgo wood, clear glass, and alpaca wool cabinets, and boogeymen for their terror-inspiring antics, and when possible, prefers to consume artichoke wine and absolutely hates brown recluse spiders. We can agree on one thing in that. Uh, he has his beard is braided, and he has sideburns. Um, he is interested after watching a performance, but bitter after getting into an argument. You're uh, passing friends with Rex, and uh, you are you worship a god named Bebmal Tashikidis. That? Okay, hold on a second. Oh, hold on a second. I'm just... I need, to, I need to do a thing. What the fuck is that? Bebmal... The deity of the castle of fellowship takes the form of a male dwarf and is associated with science and wealth. That, that looks like... Okay, it's not, but it looks like a kobold word, and I was like, what the f oh. <laughs> You guys remember how the guy in charge died last season? Yeah, pretty much. All right, well, let's go down to here. It's a lot of unforbidding I gotta do, but too bad.
We can get the food and drink moved into here. Wait, they. Okay. So this right here, stockpile for beer. Drink. We'll also, eh, not prepared meals. We'll do another, a separate one down here for prepared meals. And this one will be for prepared meals. No idea how many of them aren't rotten. They're probably all rotten, in fact. Um, I'm also going to... Put a wall piece right here. Just so that they stop using this. Because this isn't the, the way in and out, guys. It's not. I swear. No, 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 you believe me, but... Oh, no! A honey badger stole a rock nut stew! Whatever shall we do? <laughs> Last time on Blind IRL, pretty much. I wish I was as cool as the DBZ an an announcer voice. Um, let's do granite, I suppose. And you can be a stockpile for seeds once again. Daniel Ricardo stole a rock nut stew. Yes, naturally. I mean, who else would the honey badger possibly be? Anything but Danny Rick. Speaking of Danny Rick, I, I wish dude would just retire. I'm so tired of watching washed up drivers that don't need to be on the grid anymore still be on the grid. It's like, come on. There's so many, so many, so many young drivers that could absolutely use I, like a, 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 a position in Formula One and they just don't get it and it, it's endlessly frustrating to me. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he's totally, he's going to be fine. It's not like his, his, his life is over if he leaves Formula One. He could go race somewhere else. He could, could go do almost anything else. But I'm just, I'm so tired of just watching washed up Formula One drivers that like think they're still, think they still got it and very much don't. All right, let's uh, get all this stuff deconstructed, this stuff deconstructed. This stuff deconstructed, this stuff deconstructed, and that deconstructed. He'll move to IndyCar? Yeah. Or whatever. Like, it's it's not like his career will be done. I just want to see... I want to see somebody else get a chance. Like, let Liam Lawson drive. <laughs> like, <laughs> genuinely. Let Liam Lawson drive. Anyway. Sorry. Formula One second is done now. <laughs> I realize there's, like... Enough people in chat that I can talk about Formula One every now and again and get away with it, but it puts the rest of them to sleep. As we go through and unfuck this fort. Oh, you, you like going fast too, Zabine? Well, that's good. You forgot some O's in that zoom, though. It's too many Z's. F1 would be cooler with a yak duck. Isn't it? Somebody can probably correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't Williams have a ru have rubber duck merch? Or is that specifically George Russell who has the rubber duck stuff? 
Because I did look into buying a rubber duck, for a Formula One themed rubber duck once. But I decided not to because Formula One merch is way too expensive. One of my f favorite shit posts for Formula One of the last few years was that brief period of time where every single race was sponsored by Zoom during the pandemic. And then somebody just posted, I think it was on Formula Dank, but somebody posted on the F1 shit post subreddit. When did they get subtitles for Formula One? And <laughs> just says zoom, 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 zoom in all the background. This is very funny. I'm talking football now? Rockfire? Is that, is that what it is? Or are, are you just like commemorating with one person being slow? I mean, he's fine. Like, I don't actually have anything against Daniel Ricardo. He's just not very fast and always goes on about how great he is. And I'm tired of listening to like the, the, the big shots at Red Bull just cranking his wiener going on about how great he is. It's like, dude had his chance. He quit at a bad time, went to a bad team, went to a worse team, and then was at that worst team before they got good. Didn't stay at that team long enough until they got good and now is mad about it. And it's like, well, who the fuck's surprised? <laughs> like... <laughs> You were part of Red Bull, and you left during their upswing. I fucking deal with it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Anyway. I think I can go into here, and this can just be general uncooked foods. So this could be fish. This could be eggs. This can be all that. Um, this right here can be all this, all this, all this, all this. This can be, you know, we'll just say everything. No seeds, no, no finished stuff. And eh. yeah, we can just, we can just go that route. And I can actually move this still from out here and into here because it's muddy under there anyway. That is a lot of wild boar tallow. Guess I have to make all my rock pots again. I also need to replace all these beds. There you go, sweet. I'm going down into there. Move my still into here. Um, yeah, I mean, we could absolutely make soap, but currently the priority is to just get all the food put away, you know? I should probably check how deep that lava underground is. Okay, sweet. It's not bubbling up and over there just yet. I mean, it is still going through here, but very slowly, and it seems to have, like, kind of stopped itself there a bit. Oh, boy. Well, I should definitely pump some water onto this at some point, but... I mean... This is almost reachable. I think... What I should do... Is I should dig down to... Here. And then channel the water out this way. Maybe just here. Like, we'll... Do down to here. Go up here. Go this way. Up to here. We'll figure out something to do with this.
<laughs> Waking up the smell of grilled bacon? Oh, probably. There's plenty of jokes in that in that uh, cavern layer. Let me just put it that way. Plenty of them. We got jokes to spare. I wonder if they've buried that body. Well, we buried one of them. That's good. We dealt with the ghost for the other one. What does this... Th you know, most of your needs have been met. That's the funny thing. This dwarf's just upset. And, you know, honestly, I don't blame them. <laughs> Literally just because they saw the person in charge's dead body. Um, I'm going to remove you. And put you on, like, stoneworking, maybe? Like, let you just go do something that seems a little bit nicer. We begin to just construct and deconstruct floors all over there. Your settlement has crundled. Every day I'm crundling. All right, uh, I need manager. Congratulations, Sam. I think you're about to get a promotion. Actually, hold on. Who who has this bedroom right now? Stinthad has this bedroom to deconstruct this bed. Um, need to figure out which bed is Sem's. Clearly not the one that's full of water. There we go. Sam, you get the fancy bedroom. Because you are about to become my manager bookkeeper broker. There you go. The necromancer raises a corpse of one of your dwarves and goes away with with raised corpse. Um, corpses can't leave the map. So undead, so unintelligent undead and intelligent undead can't leave the map. Intelligent undead that are raised by, um, even by necromancers are considered visitors. So it doesn't actually matter. <laughs> um... They, no, I guess to, to answer that question, no, they can't. Okay, so we reached early autumn. So here's hoping we get to trade. Cross your fingers, chat. They should ideally show up to trade pretty quick. Watch us just get sieged, and it's like back to square one pretty much, but with one less dwarf. <laughs> kind of expecting that, not gonna lie. And, uh, hold on, let me do some math. Next time I stream, we're, Adventure Mode will be out in, like, 15, 16 days. That's kind of crazy, actually. Shit's getting close. <sighs> Me too. I, I I hope it I hope it comes I I hope the launch goes well. Here's hoping. Uh no, because the soul can occupy one thing, either a ghost or the dead dwarf. Um, not both. So you, you can't actually have both.
I like that Stinthad is conducting meetings in your bedroom, Sam. I'm very amused by this. <laughs> because it was her bedroom, and she was doing it there previously. All right, it's time to put the, uh, the, 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 the tavern back, I think. I think the dwarves need the tavern back. Meetings, yes. Well, it was her bedroom, so that's just probably where the pathing was sending her. The frilly pants have been, has been rebuilt anew. Okay, this stockpile I can get rid of, and I'm in an ad break, so I'm just going to pause game. <clears throat> We're all uh, just ghosts puppeting a skeleton with mute armor. I mean, I guess if you want to live that life. That's what you're telling your future girlfriend is that pathing brought me to <laughs> Yeah, I the only reason we ended up together was because of a pathing error. That's how you know it's your your future girlfriend and also your his like your your future ex. Or you'll find out whether or not it's your future ex very quickly based on how they respond to that. I also don't know where my dumping stockpile is right now, so I'm actually just going to follow this, see where it ends up. So now we just cross our fingers and toes and hope that traders show up. So how do you get notified when your stream is showing an ad? I have a pop-up at the bottom of my of chat that tells me that an ad is running. There's also a countdown thing, which is currently not working. It works like every other stream. Um, the dashboard also has a little widget in it, which tells you when the next ad is going to pop up. I don't use that, though. I use a custom dashboard with a weird layout. Um, my bot also has a little countdown timer. It says the next ad's in 26 minutes and 23 seconds. So, you know, there's plenty of different ways. Oh, that's where they're going. Let's dig through that. And I will just put a refuse stockpile out here for a bit. Until I have a different location for it. Meditate on deformity. You seem like a wonderful individual, dwarf. Oh, wait, never mind. We told they do have a way out there. <laughs> Although it is a grim reminder of winter hardships to come, the supply caravan from the Castle of Fellowship is a welcome sight. Their eyes are alight in anticipation, inspecting the splendid products of your industrious crafts, dwarves. Take careful stock of your own stores. What these merchants offer might well be the difference between a prosperous future or a slow and meaningless death chat room can i get a round of beers we finally got traders from a mountain home not the one we started with but at the very least it's a mountain home
And now we can trade. We'll just sell all these gems. It's fine. This will work. Faction number three? Uh, number two. Wait, what, what was the third one? Because we were playing... No, this is the... In this world, that's not even correct. Because uh, we started off as the Emerald Irons, and then we played as the Veiled Halls, and then we were playing as the Rack of Lobsters, and now we are playing as the Castle of what? The Castle of Thing? The Castle of... The Castle of Fellowship. Nothing to do with rings, though. Yes, there was a... You, you're forgetting Sunbirths and the other fort. Sunbirths and whatever that first one was. You know, with the Gorlack Queen and all that? That fort. Yeah, so no, Faction 3 was the one that made this fort originally. Time for you to go to bed? All right, we'll see you later. Yvonne, take care of yourself. Also, hey, Holski. Welcome back on Death Lull. I gotta say, you are very casual about your undeath. Laughing all the way to the uh, pile of bodies? Um, rock blocks. 50. That's a lot of obsidian. Um, let's do granite. So now we just need to wait for all these items to get delivered. It's going to take a while. That's funny how I got it. It's from Old Fantasy Warhammer. Oh, really? It's from old, old an Old Fantasy Warhammer model you liked. I, I always assumed it was like a League of Legends related thing. But when people have lol in their name, I just always assume it's League because my brain is poisoned. By that stupid game. And uh, square is highlighted. Is there a way to make it stop? Erase. Click. That. Click on it with the erase button. Tried all the key combinations you can think of. What version of the game are you playing? Are you playing this version? But but you're saying key combinations, so I'm going, uh... Current Steam. X, click, drag. Erase it. You hit X, click drag. You don't hit M. D are you using keyboard controls? Stop using keyboard controls for five seconds and just erase the thing. <laughs> Don't use keyboard controls on this version. This game doesn't have complete keyboard support. That's silly. Not until they give you complete keyboard support. But literally you use the eraser button to remove designations. But trust me, you are not helping yourself by uh, trying to play this with a keyboard. 
Okay. Um, what do I actually need? I kind of just want to buy all these sandbags. But I think we'll just stick to meats. Sure, but you turn it on, you make your macro, you run your macro, and then turn it off again. Like, I, 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 I could be convinced, but at the end of the day, the, 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 the point of... The, the, the reason keyboard control is nice is if you're only using keyboard control. If you're not only using keyboard control, you're kind of just intentionally hampering your ability to play the game with dexterity. Like, it's quite literally impossible to play this game keyboard pure, purist right now. But yeah, if you've accidentally mined something, you literally just, you need to do this with the eraser tool, which is X. X click drag, or I guess arrow click enter drag. All right, so diplomacy. So Stinthad meets with the outpost liaison. And they ask us what we want. And I'm gonna say iron bars, because I know there isn't enough of those here. They want splints and fish. Okay, so what's a selector? It's the selector for if you're using keyboard controls. Can you screenshot this? I have no idea what you're talking about. I tried using keyboard controls for like the first two days this game was out um, on Steam and then just stopped. So I have no idea what you're talking about. Selector, you mean the icon for if you're using keyboard? Hit, hit escape, just back out of it. Like what? <laughs> I, I'm very perplexed. I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Sorry, I can't be more help, but... If, if you, you have to, like, explain to me what's on the screen. Because selector... Like, there's the icon that you drive around, the little square thing. But that... You just hit escape and back out of it. Like, you, you just move out of the menu. But it's clearly not that. So... I can't help you. Restart your game? Um, I have no idea. If chat has any, like, ideas, feel free to help, but I'm I'm kind of at, at a loss. You try to be starting your cat. You know, I, most people try that every day, and it generally doesn't work. Nor does it make them shut up generally. Um, that's all these. Let's just go up to the top of this. Dump, dump, dump. And trade. That'll do it. Yeah, I, I, I have no idea what you mean by selector, I think, is the main issue that I'm running into right now. Welcome back, Mako. Kind of tempted to just start making totems. Because I know for a fact I have a lot of them. Yelling at somebody in charge. Likes your job. Angriest dwarf in the fort. Uh, we are, in fact, trading with the mountain home, yes. But uh, with not with the original faction, obviously. This was the one that we re-embarked with. Which, oddly enough, is the faction that we were trading with with the other faction as well. It's just now we're on their side now instead of the other way around.
Yes, we did in fact do the abandoned reclaims thing. Which is why there's mud everywhere, but it's fine. We are, we are working on getting things cleaned up. Currently, I'm just trying to trade. The, the real big de annoyance here is that there's stuff everywhere. But we're working to get things cleaned up. Um, I don't think it's continuing to bubble up, but there's a lot of it. Yeah, there's a lot of it. I mean, it's not optimal, but it's also not the worst thing ever. It's mostly just kind of annoying. <laughs> Orbs are just running around planting seeds. Just getting some cave wheat seeds planted. Grinding off to render fat. Gathering plants. You're making a totem. It's kind of fitting that the chief medical dwarf's making stray boar totems. What's up, Optimus? Trying a restart? Okay, let's see. What the heck are you talking about with... Square won't go away and you're trying to fix it. Restart your game. Um, yeah, restart your game. So it, what, it, what that is, is that's basically your mouse cursor. You know, another thing that you could try if you haven't restarted the game yet is try turning keyboard mode off and on again. It's probably what's happened is you've got, or do you have like caps lock on? Like, do you have some weird like key that's been pushed like num lock or something? Restart didn't fix it. Try turning keyboard mode off and on again. It's literally, it's an issue. It's probably some sort of issue with like your keyboard. Backing in and out of menus, I'm assuming. Keyboard worked? Okay. Phew. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I don't like keyboard mode in the current version. I, I, I don't think it's worth using personally. Um, I don't even use it for macros. But then again, I, I didn't use macros to begin with, so that's not really a good like thing for me to say. <laughs> that's not a particularly legitimate statement from, from me because I never really used macros to begin with. But I, I don't know. I just it's it's more annoyance than it's worth as far as I'm concerned. Do you, do you do you use nothing but macros, Mako? Is, is, is this a thing? I mean, hey, live your life. I I don't know. But they said that they got it fixed, so let's just call it a, a win and move on, I suppose. <laughs> okay. Yes, we won. W's in chat, I suppose. You know, I felt like such an idiot when I learned what W meant. Like, oh, win. Duh. <laughs> Like, add that to the list of dumbest I've felt in a minute. Let's just pause those rock blocks. God, all these granite coffers are, like, so freaking far away. Like, <laughs> because they're all up on the surface. Keyboard cursor disabled. Yeah, and then probably re-enabling it would fix it. Yeah. Well, we got there eventually. It was like a four-step process, but... Expedition leader can have that office. Bilberry wine. Delicious. Some more migrants have arrived. Huzzah! 
got somebody named Muthcat, somebody named Odom. Another Odom. Oh my god, chat. Odom married Odom. <laughs> That's... Hmm. We've got Kel. We've got Sakzul. Odom squared. Yeah, there you go. A dire. Almost. Stray donkey. Honorable. Hmm. Former member of the Galley of Stokers. Has a lover who doesn't live here. Is stubborn. Uh, she tends to be a bit stubborn in changing her mind about things. She's brave in the face of imminent danger. Tends to be swayed by the emotions of others. Dreams of mastering a skill. Personally finds herself to be somewhat disgusted with eloquent speakers. Values good craftsmanship. Well, I think we just found our militia commander. Oh, no. Not a great leader, but that's okay. When will the beekeeper? Legendary beekeeper, in fact. 156 years old? Holy shit. I mean, obviously you'd be a competent axe dwarf and spear dwarf after fighting with bees for that long. I would be too. Also, if I'm not mistaken, Cog, the leather worker, is also a talented fighter. Who's down here making totems. Dreams of creating a great work of art. Finds those that develop skills, whipping and ties. Uh, okay, no, has no interest in fighting. Well, that's unfortunate. 156 years old. Yeah, very old dwarf. Opportunity to uh, learn from the best, I suppose. Not enthusiastic, conflicted by this. She tends to be passive in discussions. All right, it's good to see the population go up. <laughs> Careful, vampire. Eh. It's okay. We know who to suspect if she is a vampire. If we do get the notification of a vampire, we know who to suspect. Obviously this one. I mean, she's only a legendary intimidator. She has no skills in lying. I mean, come on. Yeah, I doubt it. I mean, it's maybe, but... Just need to stare at her until she drinks some alcohol. No kills. Already checked. Bring another yak over here. I'll just put everything here, but I'm just gonna go to this screen. Apparently I caught a crundle. We're just gonna slaughter everything down. Oh, not the elephant calf, but we're gonna slaughter everything else down here. Member of the Doctrine of Mines, former member of the Galley of Stokers. Yeah, I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried. Still stare at her though. Keep an eye. Okay, how many dwarves do we have? And how many need bedrooms? How many have not claimed bedrooms yet? Well, it's time to make these extra bedrooms up here. That's... Neither of those things are the buttons I wanted to hit. 
It's still not the button I wanted. You know, I clicked these buttons too quickly. <laughs> it's the truth. Let's do that, that, this. That. These. That. You know, the kind of funny thing is I was in the process of building a lava stack. I need to find that lava stack. Just a pump stack for lava. Because it was fully constructed. And it's probably completely submerged, or at least the bottom of it is completely submerged in lava. Uh, what dwarf you want? We actually have a, a good number of them. Do you want the super sussy one? Or do you want something else? What are we effing for? Lockjaw? Happy bearded one. Well, we don't really have anybody who is happy, per se. But we have dwarves that are not absurdly angry, so... We'll give you Zephon if that works. How about a siege engineer? I could make you into the cook or something. Big Bang <clears throat> um, is about to become the head cook. And we're going to get you making lavish meals here. We'll just get you to do three monthly. And we're going to go to kitchen orders. And I'm going to go to kitchen seeds. Okay, we can cook those. We can cook those. Cook those. And can cook those. And let's go to drinks. Please do not under any circumstances cook any of my drinks and don't cook my plump helmets all right now you <clears throat> is ruled by irresistible cravings and urges is swayed by emotional appeals and is prone to strong feelings of lust he has a strong tendency towards privacy as a perfectionist doesn't uh tend to hold on to grievances and he can sometimes act without deliberation he enjoys the company of others and doesn't handle stress well he finds obligations confining though he is conflicted by this concept of loyalty and is troubled by his natural tendencies he is stubborn and he isn't given to flights of fancy and he likes to brawl he needs alcohol to get through the working day and does not mind being outdoors at least for a time he dreams of mastering a skill and personally disdains the law and has a negative view of those who exercise power over others he likes aluminum the color peach breastplates and coffins and amulets and kangaroo men for their great leaps the words of the itch of waste and the sound of the beige loot and the sight of the wispy murk murk mirth and when possible prefers to consume reacher Jack Reacher, specifically. Uh, banded knife fish and blueberry wine. And is now preparing meals. Um, and uh, he has no friends, but some passing acquaintances in the fort. Hasn't lived here for too long. And uh, feels gratitude after arriving. He's in the first migrant wave coming in. You're cooking with a bunch of tallo, which is all good. And uh, some guinea fowl meat and tomatillo seeds. Couldn't find any of the message while you were just busy killing that first dragon and lost it. Killing that first dragon and lost it. What? Sometimes you just gotta kill that first dragon, I suppose. Bumblebee brain roast. Dwarven delicacy, I'm sure. Okay, let's unforbid these. Wonder how many totems I've made. A couple totems. I think our first big trade is just going to be selling totems. Okay. Well, that, that's all good. <laughs> I hope that you were able to kill that dragon, though. Okay, so I'm going to potentially just smooth everything.
I am in an ad break right now, so I will just do this. Got lucky with your last bit of military. Well, there you go. I, I'm always amazed when I see people manage to take down a dragon indoor fortress. Kind of in any context, it's just, it's just impressive. Like genuinely, it's bloody impressive. Because dragons are one of those things where they're kind of glass cannons. If they get a hit in or get something set on fire or get some smoke in between you and them, your dwarves are pretty much done. But like, if the dwarves can hit it like once, it's probably dead. Which generally puts you in a pretty safe spot for dwarves, but we'll just unpause now. Go up along the bottom here, get that stuff removed. You guys notice that there's like a very tiny, like a few pixels at the bottom underneath the UI. Is that always there or am I going crazy? I don't remember that always being there. Or you could like see the floors behind. The new fort start, you generally just dig straight for a cavern. I don't generally play the same way twice ever. Um, every fort is different because start order and build order and whatnot don't matter, at least in this game. So I very rarely build the same way twice. Um, people often ask me, they're like, like, how do you play with this in this situation? It's like, well, I don't know. <laughs> when, when, you have a, when you've played this game long enough, every start is largely the same. The only real difference is like what you need to do in the first 90 seconds and then after that everything's gravy. So when you get far enough into the game, it just kind of ceases to matter at a point. And I'm far beyond that point where it matters. So at a, the start of a new fort, I usually go in with a theme. Then I take that theme and then I go, okay, what can I do with that theme that's interesting? And then I build from there. Uh, this particular fort, the initial theme for it was I was trying to build a new mountain home for a separate faction, but that faction is clearly having some, like, turmoil right now um, and in a really bad spot. So instead of, like, worrying too much about that faction, uh, I decided to abandon the fort with that faction, and I reclaimed it with a, with a faction that was much closer to the location of this fort, and we were playing. Um, I wanted to dig down to the caverns in this fortress because of how shallow this map is. This map only goes down to layer minus three, which is very, very shallow. Um, so I decided to just go to the caverns because I figured that would probably be an interesting location, and these particular caverns were fun in the layout. I really liked the layout, so we stuck with them after that. But um, as for, like, the... The, the logic of how do I start forts, every fort's different. This is not a vampire, they've been drinking alcohol. Or rather, it's very unlikely that's a vampire. It's almost a zil chance that that's a vampire. Let's get some uh, booze made. We seem to be taking a break. Which I'm sure is well earned. After the things they've been through. That was a weird sound. You know like the sound of a marble rolling downstairs? I just heard that come from like above me, like the apartment above me. A weird sound. I know that's oddly specific, but that's exactly what it sounded like. Okay, let's see how many dwarves still need bedrooms. Quite a few. Go with you. Go with you. Maybe you. All right, well, now the fun begins. We get to make more bedrooms. Do they plot, play Pogs upstairs too? I don't think... Chat, who here, aside, not, not the emote. Who here knows what Pogs are? Sometimes my curiosity gets the better of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> who the heck here knows what a Pog is? Do you know what a Pog is, chat? No idea. You were big into Pogs? Oh no. 
more like my cousin. POGS, Pogs. You got some Pogs and have your sla You still have Slammers? The hell, man. Tiny little pieces of cardboard with pictures on, on them. They were a fad in like the late, late 90s, early 2000s. It was a toy the kids played with. My cousin was obsessed with them. Around the same time he was playing games on his N64. Which I really wanted to steal. The N64, not the Pogs. Couldn't care less about the Pogs. <laughs> oh, they came back in the early 2000s. You were playing with them in 94? I was born in 94, so I certainly wasn't playing with them in 94. Um, well, these guys are back. I like how... They've managed to keep their injuries. Okay, that's interesting. You know what's interesting about that, Chad? They had a military squad. Intruders drive them away. It's what? Necromancers, right? Yep. Oh, interesting. Former members of the Castle Fellowship was actually a count of the Castle Fellowship. You over here is a member of the Banded Nation, a member of the Ugly Communion, yeah. the former Holy Hog. <laughs> That's a really good religion name. I like this one. The Holy Hog of the Ugly Communion, previously. That's good. Probably gonna run in and grab, try and grab bodies, but. Competent spear dwarf, not too hard to kill these guys. Be really fun if some of their kids moved in here. Former member of the Radiant Boot. And a member of the Stable Ships. Well, they left pretty quickly. You had heaps of pogs with friends? Well, there you go. Planting a shit ton of seeds now. So I'm actually just going to tell you to make some lavish meals. Just queue up a bunch of these. Just to get us like a surplus of food. And get through some of the materials that we don't really need as much. So Big Bang is going to get to cooking. You want to acquire something? Do you need new clothes? Not just yet. What am I doing for cloth actually? Holy crap, but we do have a lot of alpaca wool cloth. So, alpaca wool hoods, chat. If anybody's massively against alpaca wool hoods, please say so now or for hold your silence for the next 90 minutes. Uh, Femme the farmer has been possessed. That's also the first artifact that's getting made here. Engraver, so it's definitely boulders that you're grabbing. Yep. Runs off. My area people eventually switched to playing with slammers only because they were worth more. I uh, 
completely missed Pogs, aside from that I was a f aware of them because my cousin had them. But I did play with Beyblades a whole lot. That's the closest thing I got to Pogs. We will in fact let Big Bang cook. In fact, I hope he keeps cooking. Ooh, Rough Star Sapphires. That's gonna be an expensive artifact regardless. Okay, so I will deconstruct all these, except for the one under the door there. And we will also deconstruct all of these. Because the slow progress of us going that way must continue. I will also smooth this eventually. The heck? That didn't used to be like that. But weird. He mostly moved on to Magic the Gathering. An equally goofy scam, but at the very least, the game was fun. I would say of all of the, like, scam things that kids could get into, that was probably... Magic the Gathering, expensive, yes, but at least the game's good. So Transfem has created Nalraslim, a granite figurine of dwarves, and offers it to the new fur boots of pants. This is a granite figurine of dwarves. Our craft ship is of the highest quality. On the item is a masterfully designed image of dwarves in granite. The dwarves are traveling. The artwork relates to the foundation of Applebottom by the Valley of Columns of the Rack of Lobsters in the early spring of 542. This object menaces with spikes of, saf of star sapphire. On the item is an image of dwarves in granite. The dwarves are traveling. The artwork relates to the foundation of Hall Oil by the Lanterns of Ringing of the Castle of Fellowship in the year 80. Ghost Wizards, what's up? You were here earlier, you went off and streamed, and now you're raiding me. I guess that means I've been streaming for too long. Anyway, hi, how are you doing? Welcome to, welcome to the stream. To, to those of you who don't know who I am, I'm, I'm Greg. I play way too much Dwarf Fortress. Ghost Wizards plays um, XCOM and things like XCOM, I, I hear. What were you guys up to today? I don't know if I have any mods here. Do I even have any mods here right now? I might not. I was gonna holler at my mods and be like, shout people up, but I guess I guess I do have a mod lurking. Thanks, mods. What's up, yogurt from Mars? Uh, exclamation point goal will help you find this fort's goal. Also give you a bit of a backstory. Playing some Battle Brothers. Ah, there you go. I mean, I'm I'm very familiar with Battle Brothers. I know somebody who's streamed almost as much Battle Brothers as I have streamed Dwarf Fortress. He streamed that game for like five years or something. <laughs> he has like 8,000 hours on that game or something. Stopped streaming it relatively recently though. Your alpha wake. Well, there you go. I thought that you left a while ago, so I'm actually like rather surprised that you're still here. Dwarves are all getting hoods. Uh-oh. Let's also make some alpaca wool robes. I'm seeing dwarves running around with robes, and they're all very crappy old robes. Like, this dwarf specifically right here. Real shit what robe. And that's going to start impacting their, um, their ability to brain happily. Got to call it a night? Yep. No, I got you. I mean, I'm the one who streams for too goddamn long, but seriously, thank you very much for the raid. Um, it, it means a lot. Always playing the same world? Um, Generally, I, I stick to the same world usually for quite a while. Uh, I do eventually move on to new worlds, but um, because there's an update coming in like less than a month, uh, that's going to probably require me generating a new world. I'm not going to generate a new world until that update is out. A little bit of this fort? Sure. Well, I mean, currently it's very flooded, so don't mind all of the mud. Um, but it is this tiny little town in the caverns. Um, the previous faction that had it, um, that I was playing, obviously, 
uh, completely sealed off the edges of the caverns, but we never reached a population higher than 15. So it was unfortunately largely wasted. Um, I've reclaimed most of the fortress, even though um, it's like, you know, a fortress reclaim. But the areas I haven't explored yet are because they are underwater, like down here, or under lava down here. Um, both of those things, not exactly great uh, for uh, exploring purposes. So um, that is the majority of the fortress, like up here, really. Uh, we have our tavern right here. We have our kind of kitchens area right here. Uh, this was going to be a hospital, but currently is a mud pit and will hopefully become a hospital. We got bedrooms, a tiny little library, a bedroom, bedrooms and an office, uh, two temples, some bedrooms, some more bedrooms, another bedroom, and some more bedrooms. And I'm going to go around building more bedrooms over the next little bit. Huge underground city, small underground city. Maybe at some point it'll become huge underground city. Ralph. But yes, I generally stick to the same world for a bit. I This is, I don't know, I've probably spent like 300 hours in this world or so. Maybe more. Last few months, basically. Uh, figurine. There it is. Are you going to go get... A new hat there, Dwarf. I, I find that, like, you know, you play a game enough, and eventually you just kind of start... Okay, where's that Dwarf's body? I feel like if you play any game enough, you eventually start just kind of building cool things that you like looking at. Because if you play a game enough, you've kind of... You know your way around all of the, the hard bits, right? And... Put it simply, I know my way around all the hard bits in Dwarf Fort. So I make things I like looking at. Because it's fun. And Dwarf Fortress isn't super benefited by the player being very, very specific about layouts and things. Hmm. Uh, let's try this again. Let's unforbid and then rebuild this tomb. Oh, I see the problem. <laughs> we got untombed for a bit there. But yeah, I, I, I find that for, for ages I got stuck in the, you know, kind of trap of just building very samey looking squares like I think a lot of people do, but you know, I, I've played thousands of hours of this game, right? And I have to look at my forts for thousands of hours, or hours at the very least. So generally, I find it's better and easier to just make forts I like looking at. The key is to just be far enough underground that it's hard to drown people. If you're close to, you know... If you're close to areas where things can drown, yeah, you'll, you'll drown people. I think I'm just gonna put a hole right there. That's gonna be where we're just gonna dump things. Actually gonna remove the refuse and trash pile down here. We'll just throw stuff down there. Gotta get rid of stuff somehow. There you go. But I try and make mines of Moria, not Ikea boxes, so. At the end of the day, though, build whatever you want. Build what you like looking at. That's all I do. Got way too many dwarves planting seeds. Let's go into here and assign some planters. So that most of them stop planting seeds. Uh, 
Harvesting plants is fine. But I do not need literally everybody planting. You're just down here spinning thread. Because I've got tons of alpaca wool. We are going to have thousands of alpaca wool thread. Yeah, this is a thousand percent not a vampire. They've slept in a good bedroom. You guys being all suspect. It's just funny. Okay, so this right here is going to be trash dump pile. Okay, so let's... Man, this fort's a little difficult to navigate, I'm not going to lie. Okay. We're just going to throw stuff into there. I should probably just decorate things with bones, but honestly, I would rather just get rid of everything. But I don't absolutely need at this point. I would also like to move this workshop. This right here. Give me for cloth. Let's just deconstruct this. Something else I find, Derek um, Delaman, is if you are in a biome that freezes, one of the biggest noob traps is accidentally digging through frozen rivers because it's really hard to see them. So just be vigilant, I suppose. And just do your best to be wary, I suppose. I go over to here and we're going to build some new bedrooms. Because that is possibly the highest cause of flooding forts. That and, like, you know, digging into an aquifer and not realizing it, but... Only heavy aquifers are really capable of drowning your forts. The game has enough protections to kind of stop you from drowning your forts accidentally in other ways. But, obviously, it's not foolproof. There are certain degrees of, like... carefulness that you you can't you can only do so much okay so we are going to say higher quality clothing it's gonna go there okay and then down here we can build another one of these. Thank you for pondering that orb, Rog. Hey, chat room, if you're still listening to the stream, can I get a round of beers? It's getting kind of late. How many of us are still awake? Let's just use granite. Stay easy. Stay basic. Okay, so I've got one novice clother. We're going to get you clothing and planting. Headed to third shift. Used to be my life. Been there. Now I just work extremely long hours a uh, few days a week. Which is why my next scheduled stream is Tuesday, but I might end up doing a bonus stream this week. We'll see. Highly depends on how much time I have. Hello. Line. 
three weeks ago when I was looking up caves of cute tutorials, you were the best videos on YouTube. Really? Of course this week when I'm looking for dwarf fortress tutorials, who do I run into once again? Thanks for the content, brother. Happy to help. Thanks for the 15 bucks, dude. I was thinking chat was falling asleep. First time chat as well. First time speaking in the stream and you give me $15. It's one way to make an impression. But thank you. I do plan on having more... I, you know, actually, one of my nightmares is that Caves of Cut is going to release, like, within three weeks of Adventure Mode. <laughs> but I, I do plan on actually doing tutorials for at least the first three dungeons in Caves of Cut when it launches. Like, I want to do one for... Like, how to finish Red Rock, one for how to... Like, basically how to finish the first three quests and get to Baratham. And then, fuck it all, you're on your own. <laughs> like, I can't really do much beyond that. Um, if I'm being honest here. Like, I'm not bad at cud, but jeez. I'm not a wizard. <laughs> but thank you. Means a lot, dude. Happy to help. Let's actually just expand this stockpile up to here. Let's do that. I don't know why that keeps getting forbidden, so I'll just do this. I'd forbid that. Okay. How do I manage to appear so clear in a black background? Um, I don't know. Good question. Um, it's also not really... I'll say this. This entire thing is an illusion. Light up. That's where I'm actually sitting. Um, this is a GoPro, and it's monitor light plus a studio... A very, like, a $8 dollar store phone circle light that I have pointed at the wall. Over here, he has a sword. Sword beam of light, maybe? section of cavern has collapsed. This is, that's kind of my, mildly concerning. My uh, chair mat is a little bit off-center. Getting sleepy yourself? Oh. It's more in the realm of light wall. I'm, I'm getting a little sleepy, but that's because I've been live for 12 and a half hours, or for 11 and a half hours. Not quite 12 and a half yet, but we're getting there. Now let's go up here and plop some beds in. Got three beds left. Why is pop so low? Why is question so silly? I have no idea why the pop's so low. <laughs> it's an impossible answer. There's no way I could possibly explain it to you. It would take years for me to explain it to you. Bonzo, thank you very much for that brand new Prime subscription. Appreciate you, mate. Thanks a ton. That feeling when all my stuff's just repeatedly getting stolen. Feels bad, man. Um, let's go down to here. 
and do this. And this. I'm gonna add, but I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, it's not bad considering, well, no, we're starting year two. Because we started, um, well, we're a year and we're not even at the end of year two. We're like a year and uh, two months in to this fort. You get someone each month and you're just starting DF my tutorials are well done. Well, thank you. There will be a lot more. If you just subscribe to my YouTube channel, by the way, there will be a lot more when Adventure Mode drops. And you know what? Actually, I'm, I am going to do it this way. But what if your if your pop went out for a pack of smokes and then you're gonna <laughs> It's right right around the same time dad left to get some more milk. This might overflow upwards, and if it does, that'll be very funny to me. Okay. <laughs> well, found the magma pool. Oh hey! Turns out I also found my lava. Would you look at that? Recognize this, guys? <laughs> this was where I was forging later, or earlier. That's not confusing at all to look at, but... This might just immediately overflow up here and up here, but... Eh. Here's hoping it doesn't. YouTube doesn't want you to subscribe to people, which is why YouTube is never going to give you better features for subscriptions. YouTube wants you to go to the YouTube homepage and watch the things that YouTube serves to you and then just keep watching the things that YouTube serves to you. The only reason YouTube has a subscription feature is because it is the antiquated thing that is expected from platforms like that. So I very much doubt we'll ever get better features for subscribing to channels on YouTube because YouTube doesn't care nor want you to have them. YouTube just wants you to, you know, watch what they want to serve you. Yeah, no, I mean, I get it. I, I mean, the YouTube sub box used to be like the way you would use YouTube, right? That hasn't been the way in a very long time. And I'm doubtful it ever will be. Okay, so since I can see this now, here's what we're going to start doing. I'm very, very, very thankful I started this pump stack. You guys want to see some goofy shit? <laughs> I'm going to show you guys some goofy shit. So we're going to dig over to this. From well, I guess I could go from over here. Yeah, sure, why not? This is perfectly doable. This right here, we're going to build up alongside this, and I'm literally just going to go tell my dwarves to go and pump on these. <laughs> so we're going to have a bunch of manual pump dwarves um, pumping water out into here. Yeah, that's fine. Well, actually, no, it would be, it would be better to just go this way, so... Let's go that way instead. Because there's drains there. So I'm going to drain out my lava forges by literally just manually pumping on a pump stack. <laughs> Which we should be able to do. Let's see if this works. Although first we need this dwarf to, you know, dig all the way through this. Also, wow, we actually kind of have a lot of drink. What are you upset about? Irritated when drowsy. Oh, did you get bit by a bug? Caught in the rain, grouching. What are you upset about? 
Oh, you got injured? Okay, that would help. Do you have a bedroom? Yes, you do. You have modest quarters. Flurn Dip, thank you very much for the brand new Prime subscription. Yeah, you, YouTube doesn't want communities to grow. I mean, you know, it, it's kind of funny. Like, every now and again, um, because, like, I stream on Twitch and YouTube, right? Like, I'm concurrently streaming on two. Um, the reason I focus on Twitch, and the reason Twitch is the primary platform for me, and will probably stay the primary platform, is YouTube is fantastic for promotion. It is a very good loss leader for me. It's a very good thing to focus on as a way to help other people find the stream and find the stuff that I do because there's a very large audience on YouTube. YouTube is extremely bad for building community. I could sit here and I could name pretty much every single one of my Twitch regulars over the last few years that are here every day. But the number of people that I recognize in YouTube comments is extremely small because YouTube doesn't want to build community. I like to be on platforms that build community because that's how you build a sustainable business in this industry. And it kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Okay, so where's the digging going on? There you are. Communication theory and practice. I mean, I would say that's just the tech industry to a degree, but actually, mm, could also just dig down here one tile. And save all the time here. Okay, so it'll pop out there. Yeah. In that time, Dwarf managed to get stuck back here. Well, I can get you out. Actually, no, I don't want you to get out that one. I want you to get out this one. Good morning. Well, good morning, Master Spike. It's good to see you, too. Okay, let's go down to here. Okay, so I just need this wall to get built. Once this wall has been built, I'm just going to tell... Okay, dwarves, I, I need you to not be idiots for a second here. I know that's a challenge for some of you, but you're going to have to work with me here. Please quit standing there while you build the wall. It's not gonna help anybody. All right, so now I'm gonna tell you to pull, pump this. Tell somebody else to pump this. Tell somebody else to pump this. Uh, come on, gotta get that done. Okay, tell somebody to pump this. And lastly, somebody pump this. So, Autumn is probably gonna run up to the top. Okay, you start pumping. Game's deciding to save. I'm going to go take a piss. Sure thing.
So. And this should, hopefully, if it ends up working the way I'm hoping it will, it should pump the water out so that I can just move back in. But here's hoping. And we can slowly just add up more dwarves. I did just wake up and had your stream playing on your laptop over. <laughs> I mean, hopefully you had a good night's sleep. But thank you. It does actually mean a lot that people do that. Also, very small um, vanity thing, chat room. We're almost at 100 likes on the YouTube stream. What do we got to do? To, like, bump that up by one. This is the last one we're waiting on. Probably almost. Look at that. It's waking. So now I go down here. And I go granite blocks. There we go. 103. Works for me. So I need two blocks. And then down here as well. Because it actually pulled up two, which I think is kind of interesting. That went all the way up to here and then also pulled all the stuff from here. Now we're waiting for that. We're also going to wait on this. Okay, here comes one. So now we can get this one pumping. And then it's just two more. Just a few more. And then we will be back on the money. We can figure out what I'm gonna do with this mess. Um, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with this fucking mess. I mean, I'm not, I'm still not convinced it's not still filling. I like, I just, it's obviously emptying off the side of the map there. I think we just need to pour a bunch of water on this thing is what we need to do. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I mean, okay, so big project for, oh my God. Hmm. Apparently the elves have decided to trade with me for some reason, but that that just broke my checking of something. At least it looks pretty. Oh yeah, no, it looks beautiful. Like I'm not complaining about the looks of it. All right, chat, I got one more project for tonight because, yeah, I've got one more project for tonight. The final project of tonight <clears throat> is I'm going to pour this lake into this, in, 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 into the, into this volcano or this, this magma spout. You know, the, the most logical thing that you could do as a dwarf, but I am going to have a way to plug it because it would be goofy to not. So, drink. Let's um, go to one of these dwarves who's operating a pump. Go down to the bottom. And we'll let them start prepping that while we are pumping out layer by layer of this. So we're going to pump out layer by layer of this. You know, up into here, as we have been. And we're going to let the rest of the dwarves start digging that out. Then I'm going to go to the surface and drop a block into it and, um, you know, drain the lake. 
the most logical thing a dwarf could possibly do in this situation. Can you have a name, dwarf? What dwarf would you like? We've got miners, we've got leather workers, we've got some planters and threshers and some dwarf traders. A chief medical dwarf, a pump operate dwarf, a skin turn into leather dwarf. What dwarf? We've got the uh, fish dwarf, who is an un unemployed fish dwarf, ironically enough, because fishing is for evil people. Um, what 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 kind of dwarf would you like? Medical dwarf. Okay. Chat, can I can I get a, a, a shout for a medic really loudly, please? Doesn't matter where you are in the world, but just shout the words medic. Sits. Um, Sits, the medic, uh, would never under any circumstances speak up or otherwise put forth her point of view in a discussion. Is greatly moved uh, and is, is greatly moved by art and natural beauty and is curious and eager to learn. Uh, is not particularly interested in what others think of her and what... All right, hand up. Uh, is not particularly interested in what others think of her and she can handle stress. Apparently, I've discovered a wall studded with gem. That's mildly concerning. Okay, angles. Nobody's dying, so I guess it's fine. Um, sits. There you are. <clears throat> um, she, has, she has great trouble when master when when uh, speaking when she's excited, and she likes to brawl and prefers to present herself modestly. Um, she needs alcohol to get through the working day and likes working outdoors and only grumbles mildly at bad weather and is getting used to tragedy, dreams of creating a great work of art, and personally values cunning and finds romance distasteful. Uh, likes earthenware, steel, and opal, uh, wood opal and short swords, and gre grieves, doors, masked lovebird men for their loving nature, and the words of the itch of waste and when possible prefers to consume persimmon wine and rye flour and absolutely hates flies. She has many kindred spirits, was one of the original founding seven dwarves, and uh, worships a god named Tim, or Kim. Uh, the faith of spit is the religion of choice for you. Um. Carve up down staircase, get to it. I also realize I kind of kind of screwed up the digging of this, but that's that's okay. No problem. In regards to the streams this week, happy to provide. Glad you like them. We are going to need to pump the water out of here regardless of what we do. Probably going to turn this into a reservoir, actually. The thing is, I'd like to get down in here and I'd like to get all these materials out of here because there's a bunch of aluminum and stuff down in here, you know? All these things. So getting down to this would actually be quite valuable. This should be the last of it. So once this block is in here and this is in here, I can start pumping all this up. Your hammer lord lost a thumb and his grasp is entirely unimpaired. Hell yeah! Duct tape for the win. <laughs> He's got very, very strong fingers. He doesn't need a thumb. Okay? Do not underestimate the grip strength of a dwarf. Anyway, there it goes. So now this is all gonna get just get drained out. It's a bloody mess, but hey, very happy I had that door there. I'll put put it that way. Wow, that's actually kind of amazing. That this is just obsidian full of water, huh? 
I was very much expecting this whole thing to just be full of lava, but... Anyway, it's dumping into there, so... Hell yeah. You're gonna roll out, Mako? Hope you had a good night. We'll see you when we see you, dude. Alright, so this is... What? Where's this water? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Well, I mean, actually, that's okay. It's just... It's, it's a little suboptimal, but it'll work. The thing I actually need to do, though, is go down there. I, I think I'm just going to wall this off. <laughs> let's just let's just seal this off. Uh, rock door make basalt doors? Yeah. We'll do 20. Section of cavern has collapsed. I mean, so that's literally, this is obsidian forming that's then collapsing into the magma sea is what's happening. So water is landing here. It's forming obsidian and then collapsing into the magma sea. Like instantly. So we're literally just like impacting the ground here at the bottom with obsidian is what's happening right now. See you in Discord. Cheers, mate. Um. <laughs> I really, okay. Chad, how much do you guys want to bet that somebody's going to get whooshed down here? and turn into d dead. I think the odds are relatively good. Sometimes all you need is a good whooshing. Mondorf. Passion Hammer. I like your name. Don't slip. There you go. All right. Well, this is going to sort itself out pretty quick. There goes the last few. Awesome. All right. So let's go down to here. And just make a retracting drawbridge right there. Easy enough. And then I'm going to go... Excuse me? I've discovered a downward passage, but, like, I thought I put walls over top of it. I was going to assume I did, but... Dwarf, can you come over here, please? I need you to get over here, Dwarf. Quit drinking. Not, not important. Go for a run. Did I discover it from the bottom? Oh, possible. Well, I mean, it's still going to tell me when I find it, but... How goes the pumping of this? We're almost there. Probably, actually. Just tell them to stop. So, I mean, we've kind of achieved the goal of this. Just get some extra hands is probably more helpful at this point. Yeah, considering not all the dwarves are even there right now, because they're all tired. I'm pretty sure the dwarf I just told to go station was one of the dwarves doing this, so. There you go. You decided to take a nap. Well, that's very inconvenient. That's not what I needed you to do, dwarf. Well, this goes all the way up to here. Okay, so I need you to dig to right there. 
but from the lower layer, not from the higher layer. And then right here, you're going to channel up one layer, which will keep us one layer beneath this. And that will end up right there, which is going to get this. This is going to get, ooh. You know, I've never tried this. Should I try something I've never tried before? The thing that I've never tried before is I've never tried holding up something from a tree branch. I don't know if that would work. Like, if I put a support here, would it connect to the tree branch from above? Does anybody know? Because I sure don't. Because I'm wondering. Anyway, uh, down at the bottom here, Worst case scenario is I drown a dwarf, and then they get ex expelled into the basement very, very quickly. Um, let's go up into this office, and we're, we're going to call this office lever. Drain the friggin' lake, or something to that degree. Probably works. I feel like it's more likely to work off the branch, so we're going to try it with the branch first. got a woodworker who's now possessed. I think I'm the one that's possessed up here draining the lake. I haven't drained a lake or an ocean in a very long time. So I'm very curious about how this goes. But I'm going to be able to just drain a lake on command pretty much. So this lever right here is going to be connected to this. Up here. Uh, no, the lava is not overtaking my fort. I have some more migrants. This is what I love to see. Office Axe Dwarf, are you actually a good Axe Dwarf? That's the question. Dreams of mastering a skill. Takes no pleasure in her talents and appearance. Doesn't handle stress well. Hmm. Can handle stress. Dreams of mastering a skill. Not respect the law and doesn't particularly care about craftsmanship. I think you'd be good in the military, id. Was your name Id? It is. There you are. A dog and a sheep. Pump operator. Furnace operator, rather. He's also a pump operator. I'm still honestly hoping that we just get dwar dwarves that were in the fort previously, but... Also, there's surface aluminum up here. Interesting. Baby mule. Pump operator. Uh, not quite for fun. I mean, we reclaimed this site. So the lava is overflowing. But it's not so much a... Well, crap, we need to do this thing, right? You're a competent Marks Dwarf. It's quite the migrant wave. It's what I love to see. It's going to be a bustling fortress in no time. I like to think that all these novice mace dwarfs were actually 
crossbow dwarves that just smack somebody with their crossbow a couple times. You'll do okay. You're a bookbinder with poor empathy. Poor a lot of things, actually. Sees war as a useful means to an end, eh? Dreams of mastering a skill as well. Welcome to the fort, Irvad. New dwarf's name? Only when the uh, naming thing is up. Only when the redemption is redeemed. Um, you, you have new, you also worship Adil. Lots of people worship Adil here. Competent Mark's Dwarf, dreams of mastering a skill. Content to hold on to things. Doesn't seek out excitement, but you can be another Mark's Dwarf in that squad. You're just a traitor. Frequently depressed, same dude. Not ambitious, depression prone. All right, up to 41 dwarfs. Not bad. Okay, sweet. Although I built a ramp there, not a floor. There we go. So let's see, has that been hooked up? Not just yet. So let's watch the dwarf linking. It's the pump operator doing a very important eurist like job. I'm looking forward to this, this is gonna be fun. It's been such a long time since I've done something stupid like this. Grabs the obsidian mechanisms. You've claimed the carpenter's workshop and you've run off. You've grabbed two tower cap logs. Let's follow the strange mood briefly. We're just zipping around, grabbing all the logs from all over the place. All right. I got so much water to clean up. Oh my God. I'm actually kind of tempted to just pour a bunch of lava down here because it's just, and then just drain that out later because be easier. All right, well, good luck to you, dwarf. Okay, so it seems like this is linked. Yep, give her a pull. So now the last thing I gotta do is go up here and plop in a support. We're using goblin cap, apparently. And once this is built, I then have to take a gamble. The gamble is pretty simple. The gamble is simply, when I deconstruct this, does it cave this in, or will this tree support it? What's gonna happen is this floor is gonna fall, and it's gonna break a hole in the top of this. Just go down here, gonna go all the way down here. Let's just suspend that. And then just start gushing down into here, and seal off the top of this, which is still filling, by the way, <laughs> I mean, it's not going to flood my whole fort, but I would like to cap this thing off with obsidian, optimally. All right, well, it's there. Let's try it. Let's also double check that I'm not about to flood the caverns. No, I'm not. Phycod, the woodworker, has created Nilisakal Debin Ninob, a tower cat bin, and claims it as a personal treasure. You would, wouldn't you? <laughs> also, a farmer's guild has been founded. <laughs> 
This is a tower cat bin. All craftsmanship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with round blue diamond cabochons and encircled with bands of tower cap. And this object menaces with spikes of tower cap. On the item is an image of dwarves and tower cap. The dwarves are striking a triumphant pose. The artwork relates to the battle axe throwing competition held by the castle fellowship in the, uh, held by the castle fellowship in the mid-spring of 130 during the 56th Battle Axes Throwing Competition of cel of the Celebration of Helms. Um, I like the helm. The helms must be their targets, right? Uh, the item is an image... On the item is an image of Hollow Perfect, the South Clarity, the Alpaca Wool Chasse in uh, reindeer leather. Well, that's a thing. That's about all I can say about it, is it's a thing. I'm gonna put a pedestal there for it. Got a lot of dwarves hanging out in the tavern. They seem to be enjoying their time. The thing that I'm really curious to see is how much the game lags when I pop this. All right, chat. Can I get a round of beers? Because if this if if this is incorrect, this is gonna kill a dwarf, probably. Otherwise, I will have discovered some new tech that I didn't know. Femme is the very brave dwarf. Oh, yep, it works. Huh. Well, neat. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, um, let's unforbid these, unforbid that. And they want me to make a farmer's guild. Well, we'll get to that. After I do this. This currently is the most important thing that must be done. Hello, Vin. How are you? How are we doing on cloth? All right, dwarves. How about this? Yarn robes. Another 20 of these. And let's get yarn shoes. Another 20 of those. How about yarn socks? Another 20 of those. We're also going to get silk loincloths as a preemptive celebration of success for these dwarves. Now I just need this dwarf to finish making an obsidian mechanism, like stat. Long stream, thank you. Thank you, tubby young bro. Did you just upgrade to that tier? You've had that tier for a minute, I think. Well, cheers, thank you very much. Let me know if I haven't given you the sound commands, because I can never remember if I've given people sound commands. But seriously, thank you very much for the third month. Welcome back, dude. Thanks for continuing to support the channel. We did we did just hit 12 hours, yes. It has Over been here, he has a sword! Yes, Lanix. More specifically, just an obsidian mechanism, though. And a dream to uh, drain uh, a lake. Get to it, you new mechanic. We're also gonna have to make a lot of bedrooms. Very soon. Dwarf go up. Dwarf up high. You're not sure what I did there? So what I did there is this is not actually being supported by the wall. Diagonals are not supported. This is technically just floating in midair because it's being supported by this support, which is hanging off of the bottom of a tree. Meaning I just figured out that you could like make a, use, use the bottom of a tree to hold a thing up basically. Meaning you could make like a suspended platform that is using tree branches to stay up. Which is kind of neat. Theoretically. So now we just need to get that other mechanism and plug it in to that lever up on the surface. 
once that's done, I will tell them to pull it. And then the finale of this, I don't know, 35 minute project. And commence. Oh, what, what exactly is spamming beers? Um, so in Twitch, when something exciting happens or when something cool is happening, uh, people do uh, moments of hype. Uh, it is a very cringe bullshit thing that um, is just meant to drive interaction. Uh, but generally the best way to actually do that is just like find a meme that your chat runs with. And uh, I have a beer emote. And so when I ask for a round of beer, I'm asking people to post the beer emote. It's literally that simple. <laughs> And I do that when people resub. And somebody gave me money and has been giving me money for three months. So that's a reason to like hold up a glass, regardless of if you drink. It's more of a symbi sim sim symbolic image of, hey. Lanix, do better. Come on, man. Anyway, speaking of doing better. Let's drain a lake. See this lever? See this? All right, there it goes. So now, that has collapsed, and there is now a hole in the bottom of the lake, and the lake is now um, filling up this very quickly. So the water is now rushing down and is about to eject into the caves. Look at that. Look at that. Beauty. Beauty. Absolutely glorious. What does ASCII look like for this? Uh, there you go. Lots of sizzling sounds, I would imagine. Funny thing is, is this isn't even plugging it. <laughs> I need to be one layer further down for it to actually get plugged. But hey, it's working. But if I can get it all the way up to there, and also all the way up to here, that'll plug it. Which it appears to be. Just going slowly. And how shallow is the lake now? That's the that's the question. Eh, not not actually that shallow. Not actually that shallow, which is pretty good. So this will plug it because when it gets over to this side and turns all of this into obsidian, it's gonna block this off and stop it from filling on that side. And then on this side, once it hits here, it'll stop filling on that side. So this here, I might actually make into my reservoir in the future. But here we go, see? It's all just turning into obsidian. I am in fact infinitely draining the lake. I do have an off switch, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> Uh, the off switch is connected to a drawbridge, which is connected to this lever up here, which is the drain to lake button. But yes, I did in fact have an on. I do in fact have an on off switch. I've done this before with oceans. So <laughs> it's generally wise to have an off button if you're going to drain an ocean. It is draining off the edge infinitely though. Uh, this side's almost sealed off. That's good. Working its way through this area right here. Actually, probably fill up a bit in a moment. Go all the way up to the end there. Seal that off. You know, everybody talks about the drawbridge, but one of these days we'll actually finally find the, the true bridge, which is the paint bridge. Real shame it's not a paint by numbers bridge. That'd be peak bridge technology. Um, let's go down here and get rid of all these. Yeah, we can do that. Let's also get rid of this. 
That was very satisfying, by the way. This whole thing. Oh my god, there's so much lava. <laughs> also, no, actually, I haven't sealed it off. The other side is now filling! Oh boy. Well, I guess that'll be one drain of minis. What even happened? Ah! Uh, I'm dumping the contents of a lake on a field of lava. Sizzling sound supported by subscribing sound. Yeah, there you go. That's what happened. Guess we also gotta block this side off. Can magma that in fortification to turn into obsidian? Yes. Vinsadi, thank you very much for the 37th month, and welcome back, mate. Good to have you. Appreciate you, man. Hmm. This also should probably drain relatively quickly. A human caravan has arrived to trade. Well, I think the only logical thing to do is to go down to the bottom of this. Uh, because I unretired this fort, and it changes when you unretire forts or reclaim forts. Unretiring doesn't do this, apparently, because we unretired one of my other forts. But if you reclaim a fortress, um, it uh, makes some things a little weird, is the easy way to put it. So now, this should fill up almost immediately. There it goes, see? And it will pretty quickly fill back up in the center. See? There you go, Dark Sand, you figured it out. That will fill up relatively fast. And down here will drain relatively fast. And what I think I'm gonna do, actually what I could do is I could channel down into this and we could try and, you know, bring her up. But probably what I'm actually going to do is just dig off the top and then go down inside of it and well actually no it'll it, it, mm. I'm not entirely certain it's not gonna like burst out what I should do is I should go down here wall this off wall this off wall this off and then turn it back on that's what I should do What did you do to punch things through the bottom of the lake? I uh, constructed floors. Uh, floors specifically supported by um, a single support. Connected the support to a lever and then removed all, everything that was holding the floors up and then pulled the lever. I want seeds, all right. They have a need for seed. I'm curious. What's going on in the area? Humans are being attacked by whoever Root Sizzles is. Pretty far away. And down here, likely? Oh, no, it's from right here. The elves are attacking the humans up here. And as for me around here, not a lot of news. Aside from that, I'm probably gonna get attacked by a necromancer tower. Yeah, I, I, I used uh, the tr a tree branch to support it. Boy, oh boy.
Cheers, Icebird. Thanks for the kind words. Can I actually get to here? I think I can. Yes, I can. So, um, bad news is my trash bin's no longer useful. <laughs> Remember I said this seems like a project for another day and then I go and do the thing anyway? <laughs> it's like the most me thing ever. It's just... Channel all these up. Okay. Then as soon as that drains off enough, actually I could I could literally just run over here and start building up here. Easy enough. Trick is don't fall into that hole because that's a spicy hole. Dangerous down there. There we go. Dwarves are now running about. What happened? Um... Chat, can anybody give this person the TLDR? <laughs> because, like, I don't know if I want to just explain it every 90 seconds for the rest of the stream. <laughs> but, um, I guess the simple version would be that's a goose. These are dwarves. That is water. Below this is lava. I needed lava to stop being where the lava was, so I poured a bunch of water on it. And that's a forgotten beast who's hopefully not in my fortress right now. Where? Eh. Okay, so this is to Toffee. Toffee is a blob composed of snow. I was scared of it. I'm no longer scared of it. It has three, it has straight tails and a bloated body. Um, It's never killed anything. Somehow it's lived this long. And um, I'm not scared of it, so go kill it if you can. It's a very harmless, weak little blob. Wow. I never knew that that would, like, tell you where they are. Anyway, um, so they're going to go grab weapons and hit it once, and then it'll hopefully die. A snow cone, yeah. It's a cute little, harmless, weak, little, wimpy snow cone. And I'm going to throw some cage traps down here because I'm seeing crundles everywhere. I'm gonna go over here and go uh, pets and livestock cage. Nope. Other cage. Holy shit. I've got a bunch of elephants. Well, these aren't super useful to me. They are delicious because I have tame elephants. These ones aren't tame. So I'm using my tame elephants to make baby elephants. These elephants I'm gonna use to make burgers. Perfectly logical, right? All right, I'm going to cancel these and instead back up to here. Actually, you know what? 
better way to do this is to literally just dig down next to these guys and chop these trees down. That's the better way to do this. It's going to be annoying as hell, but it's the better way to do it. And just Crundles leaving off the map, that's also very funny. Crundles in general are funny. Yep, now we can chop that tree down. Just gonna get rid of all of this crap. Mine through these. Put the water through. Mine through these. Put the water through. Get the trees out of the way. Let's just hope that there's still a ramp heading up. And if there isn't, then I'll make one. Yeah, they're they're basically chickens <laughs> in in the in that kind of cycle, you know? Like they don't really have much brain. They just kind of do things and scream sometimes. Okay, how in the world does the game think I don't have access to those items right here? Cuz that doesn't make much sense to me, cuz I do. Is it maybe it's cuz that tree was there? Yep. It was literally cuz that tree was there. That's a bizarre pathing problem. Now I need to do the same on this side. Hack all these down. Kind of also want to hack those down, but I don't really want to catch fire. It's a weird missing sprite there. It's you playing Dwarf Fortress, running around like a head what, like running around like a headless chicken. I, I mean, you know, honestly, being a human personification of a crundle, there's there's worse things you could be. Let's be real for a second. There's far worse things you could be. Just in in almost any state of being. I don't know why they're just standing here, but they are. Trees coming down. Good, good, good. Might as well get just blocks put in here because I'm not sure what's going on on this side. Gonna take a nap. Cheers, dude. Thanks for hanging out. It's been a long one. It's amazing how people like uh, be like, you must have ADHD. This, this, I've been told that this game is a brain massage piece for, like, ADHD. As somebody with ADHD, I, I guess. <laughs> Why would I know any different, I suppose? I'm not sure why this dwarf is just standing here. I think being right up at the edge of the map just kind of breaks dwarf's pathing brains sometimes. Just go down here, take those out. I would like to get this tree out of here. Uh, another strange mood? Man. It's also pi party time. So, chat room, it's time for you to grab your favorite party emotes and post them in the chat. It's party time. <laughs> And also, it's an ad break time, which sucks. Like 
got an artifact in the middle of that perfect and play it for uh classics when company's over yeah i um i i really like the soundtrack for this game it's it's a very good soundtrack not entirely sure why these keep getting suspended to be honest not entirely sure I'm pretty sure that this kind of stuff just like breaks the dwarf's pathing a little bit. Maybe more than a little bit. Maybe a lot. Some more migrants have arrived. You're an expert marks dwarf? Huh. Well, welcome to the military. Brought a cow, apparently. You're a skilled shield user. Hmm. Novice Fisher Dwarf, cool. Let's just finish this project up. I've got dwarves stuck here and whatnot. They should get them unstuck. Hopefully. Doesn't seem to. <laughs> Awkward. Trees do the weirdest things to pathing. I gotta, I gotta say, I <laughs> think genuinely they do the weirdest things. There we go. They're out of there now. That's what we needed. Let's do this and this. All the way along here. So at the very least, block this wall off. Um, speaking of areas that are completely unreachable, basically I want them, I want the water to just all go this way. Or alternatively, go this way. Well, let's just do this. Wow, that's... Yeah, I, I, I don't understand what, how tree pathing works. <laughs> like, kind of at all. That's so funny. Like, these are apparently completely inaccessible. You're hauling granite. Oh. I see what's happening. I see what's happening. Lava is bubbling up. So it's bubbling up through here. Which is where I was telling them to build. Which is why the dwarves couldn't walk back in. So that makes a lot of sense.
Too close to the edge of the map? Nope, you can build all the way up to the edge of the map on the, um, in the caverns. No, it's just this is blocking their pathing. Because this stuff is still going up. Which means this needs to be sealed on this side. Because this is just going to keep filling. So I need to get water over there, basically, is what that means. Which actually means probably the best way to do this is this. It's a bit intense, but... We need as much spread space as possible. What are we fighting with? Uh-oh. We at war with Crundles. Sure as shit seems that way. Okay. Let's unsuspend these. Get those done. And then go up to here. And let's seal this shit off. Let's go from here to here. It's fine. Right across here. No. Nope, that won't work. Can I do like here? Yep. Can I do here? Yep. Can I do here? Yep. Can I do there? Yep. I am running low on granite, so there is that. Oh, absolutely, it simulates back pressure. The lava tries to get to the layer that it's trying to get to, and I've got no say about what that layer is. The reason it's bubbling up down here, and bubbling out here. I'm not entirely sure how many picks I have. Got six. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six. I mean, I'll be able to do some pretty cool things with this lava once I have it under control. The problem is that it's very far from being under control. That's the actual issue here. Is that I need to get it under control. We'll just not worry too much about this at the end. At least not for right now. We'll let them dig those stairs up, but that's about all we need. Need more water? A lot more water. We need more water pretty quick, too. Because if I don't have more water pretty quick... What's gonna end up happening is, well, <laughs> simply put, it's gonna start bubbling in this way. And when that happens, well, <laughs> it's, it's gonna cause us some pain. Fortunately, it's pouring down here, which is good. It seems to be stopping on this side. It is starting to bubble over on the edge. So let's just hope that we can get through it. I have faith though. We'll get another floosh. This could be real bad. The thing is, we don't know what layer it's trying to get to. It could be trying to get to the surface. It could just be thinking it's a volcano now, right? I actually really like it when you re when you reclaim forts and lava does this. I know some people complain about it, but it's like, 
This is one of my favorite bugs in the game. I, I actually think this is a really fun bug. Because it's suddenly like this weird puzzle that you have to solve. I'm like, how the fuck do you solve this, right? Like, there's just lava spilling out of a volcano, and or a lava chute underground, and uh, you need to figure out how to get rid of it. I think that's a lot of fun, and I really like it. At the very least, this wall's done. I think that this just presents a really fun puzzle. And I like this. All right, we're getting through the end of it, or at least what I need to do. We'll leave some pillars here for, for looks. Wait for the dwarves to uh, run away, and then we will pull the lever again. Because we've sealed this side. We've sealed most of this side, I just need to do down here. I need to seal this. That's fine, we can leave that. We're just waiting for these to get constructed. Waiting for the dwarves to get out of here. Game decides to save at a very annoying spot. We'll see you later, Darmond. You know, I, every now and again, my brain just goes, let's, I'm just gonna keep streaming. And that's just what today is. I'm just gonna keep streaming. Although, I've been thinking in my brain for the last, like, 40 minutes. It's time to call it. So, for transparency here of what I'm kind of thinking, let's do this last whoosh, see how it goeth, and call it. Sound good? Thumbs up? And then we can go raid somebody else playing dwarfs. That's what we can do. That's what our evening looked like. And chat room investments are open, by the way, for those of you who care. Um, no, well, it's only 12 hours and 48 minutes. I kind of was thinking I should end around the 10 hour mark, but then we kept going. Oops, I accidentally another 40 minutes. Oops, I accidentally another 40 minutes. Oops, I accidentally another 45 minutes. Why well, would you look at that? I streamed for another 40 minutes. That's okay though. I, I do in, I do enjoy this. Yeah, all isn't an option, unfortunately. Exclamation point tickets to see how many you have and then type in the number. Eh, just one more project. Less turn, but Adventure mode is turns. There you go. There you go. Now we just gotta wait for you to get inside, Dorf. All right, can I please get a big wall of waters? If you happen to have my emotes, I have a water emote. Please post the water emote nowsers. Please post a lot of it too. Also, I'm just gonna real quick pause and just slaughter a bunch of random animals that I don't need or want. And uh, actually, hold up. There we go. So Dorf should run in here any moment and pull the lever. There you go. This is where the fun begins. I'm kind of amazed the game doesn't lag when I do that. Like, I've done this with oceans and stuff before. Game always lags like crazy. But not this time. I think that's kind of interesting. Crip water, crip water, crip water, crip water. Cheers, Rev. Thank you very much for sticking around for a 16th month. Welcome back. Hopefully life has been okay. Hopefully work's not too bad. Loss of water. It's 
So I need to basically fill up all of this lower layer. Well, it's going. You're shocked to catch me live? Well, that's because this water is moving in a downward trajectory. And chat room, can I get a round of beers for our friend Rev here? Keeping this up alive for eight times two months. That's 16. It's a lot of months. There it goes. And stuff starts collapsing, as it does, as we love to see it. Slowly sealing off this absurd lava bubbling over monstrosity. And a caravan has arrived to trade with us from the mountain home. All right. I think now is a good time for us to call it a night. Well, that's kind of dark. I think it's time, chat, for us to call it a night. I've been live for 12 hours and 53 minutes. That's basically 13 hours. YouTube, thanks for hanging out. Twitch, thanks for hanging out. We're going to raid somebody here on Twitch. So Twitch chat, could you say goodnight to YouTube for me real quick? And YouTube, thanks for hanging out. Those of you who are still here, I will see you guys on Tuesday, if not earlier. Guaranteed Tuesday, possibly earlier. And uh, if you want to find VODs, uh, that can be found over at the Blind Extras channel. That can be found in the description of the stream you're watching. Or just going to YouTube.com at Blind Extras. Cheers. And for Twitch chat over here. How you doing? Still alive? Been a long day. I know I'm alive, sort of. I'm ready for some dinner, actually. <laughs> that's that's where I'm at. I'm just really ready. I'm just really ready for some for some dinner. That's that's what I'm, that's what I'm ready for. I'm real, really, 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 really ready for some dinner. I think I'm gonna go make me some fried rice and uh, tofu, which is what I had last night, which is pretty good. Got lots of uh, leftover rice. Then I'm going to pack a bowl and, uh, you know, do what you do in the evening. Got some content I need to make for the weekend. So there will be videos on the YouTube channel up over the weekend. I got a few things I've been planning that I've been not putting off, but just haven't gotten around to doing. Um, if you haven't watched it yet, I recommend watching.